Wow. Just like that. Can't believe you do this to us. Wow. Yeah. Wow. There's no way out now. Wow. Somebody just leave the call. Commit <laughs> to the bit. I went to click onto her her channel and I got an ad. I feel an offended, assault, insulted. <laughs> Nice. At least you're still supporting them in some way. Yeah, they're just supporting them, Shay, by getting angry yeah, yeah, yeah. at the thing that lets me eat food. Yeah, <laughs> fine. I, totally, I totally understand. Jeez, I suppose I'll mold. pay for your food. I guess. I guess. I technically still owe her five dollars because she paid for my movie ticket on the weekend, and I paid back ten dollars. I don't want to go to a three-hour movie, so don't worry. Too oh, long. was it? Was it the new? Oh, Avatar? you saw the three-hour yeah. movie too? I did. I saw Avatar too, and was I was very. Good? I enjoyed it. Listen, I don't. Just gonna don't say. don't ask me for opinions on movies. I'm not a movie person. I just like <laughs> I watch shit that I'm like, ooh, fun, and it's. Don't care right, if it's right. good or not. Not if it's good. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I enjoyed <laughs> it personally. I thought it was quite fun. I'm was, just gonna it was, say it. That movie didn't need to be three hours. It, yeah, it got a little lengthy at the end part, and I was like, I kind of wanted more stuff here, but it's fine. It's still pretty. <laughs> cool. It was good until the second ending. I, uh, I was <laughs> gonna say, it's a really cool technical marvel because it's the first movie with actual underwater mocapping ever. Nice. Really? Yeah, it, oh, revolu shit. it revolutionized being able to capture mocapping underwater. It's the first movie to do it with technology as that they've developed for it, so. Yeah, as Monty told me, it's like he's very innovation, like, um, he has, he's very amazing at coming up with, like, new creative ideas and, like, revolutionizing the mu movie industry, but plot is not He cannot write a, a complicated story, <laughs> and that's just not his thing. You know what? Fine. Yeah. But it was very pretty. Like, it was gorgeous to watch, at least, if you're sitting there for three hours, right? Mm-hmm. It was kind of dim because of the 3D glasses, but other than that, it was pretty nice. We got pretty good seats, yeah. too. Yeah, we we'd actually, you know, for showing up, like, five minutes before the movie, we actually got really good seats. <laughs> hmm. But can we talk about the real, like, adventure of the night? It was uh, Monty and me trying to figure out how to put a sweater on. <laughs> Just... <What? laughs> yeah. In a store. We got laughed at by a lady in the stall. She no, she didn't laugh at us. She said, you two seem to be having a good time. Because we, we, little... we found a sweater, and Shay's like, I kind of like that. And I was like, try it on. And it had like this this weird button situation going on. It looked really nice and seemed really comfortable. But it took the two of us trying to figure out how the fuck to put this sweater on. And we were like scratching our heads like monkeys with a puzzle in front of us. I and literally then, had the sweater on, and Monty was trying to figure out how to do it up while it was on me, and we couldn't. <laughs> like, we we were struggling. <laughs> and then we joked, wow. like, how many people does it take to put on a sweater? And I was like, I think, I think you said that. And I was like, two, yeah. apparently. I feel like that random person saying you two seemed like you're having fun there was the closest thing to a Canadian insult <laughs> to be thrown. They were being nice. They, 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 the problem was is I didn't realize they were in the changing room like near us, and so they could hear us like squawking at each other the whole time. So for them, it was probably really funny. We weren't even in a change room. It was a sweater, so we were standing out in the open for everybody to Everyone hear and see us. see us. Alright, I'm gonna grab water. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There was also the directions, like, where we... Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm a curse. Every time Shay drives... No, you know what, Shay, you tell me. <laughs> Anytime I drive somewhere, like, if I'm with Monty, it turns into an adventure, and it's not even intentional. Like, like I don't know, directions are not the same, like, when I'm with Monty. And even if I know a direction, suddenly they all just vanish out of my head, and Monty doesn't know the directions, and... It's always an adventure. Um, honestly, though, it was impressive because I think we took like three wrong turns on Saturday, but we ended up at our destination faster like every well, time. So <laughs> Three lefts makes one right. There you go. <laughs> right? We did it. Hooray! Hooray. But honestly, I think it all started from that first time I was trying to drop you off at your house and I'm like, which way do we turn? And you're like, uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, that which way. way do we turn? And you're like, uh. And then I was like, which way do we turn, Monty? And you're like, turn right. And I'm like, okay. And then you're like, well, if you were dropping me off at my house, left would have actually been faster. And I'm like, Monty! Like, what do you I mean? never will get to live that down, ever. It's like my best memory of like driving you somewhere. 
kind of like the, 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 I won't say the name, but do you remember our English teacher, Shay? Our, for yeah. like writing in, in college? She, yep. it was, it was like blizzard conditions and I had to walk to and from school. Like it was like an hour walk too. And it was like f full out like white out conditions. And my teacher's like, you're not walking home, are you? And I'm like, I, I have no other choice. I have to walk home. And she's like, She's like, wait, and, wait for a bit. And I'm like, okay. And then everyone left. She goes, okay, I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to drive you home because I don't want you walking home. And I'm like, okay. And so she was driving me home and we had this one neighbor on the corner who had like these really nice like Christmas lights. She got totally distracted and drove right past where you're supposed to turn into my house. And I'm like, we need to turn around now. And she's like, why? She's like, my house was back there. And she goes, no. <laughs> but we're here. We're back. Hello. Hello. Hello, chat. Your Moobot's yelling at you in your chant. Oh god, alright. Well, I have to fix Moobot eventually. He needs more permissions or something because Switch changed some stuff. Okay. Well, either way, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll hey, sort, chat sort that later. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, probably my last stream until after Christmas. This is actually going to be my last, my last stream for a while. And then I'm gonna be trapped at Chase's house yeah. with her nerd oh family and their nerd cats. And my stinky cat house. <laughs> with my fur cats. My fur cats. Yeah, your cats that have fur that Bracky is probably a little bit more accepting of. Yep. <laughs> uh, before yeah, we begin, actually, we have. You have the stinky cats. I do. They're very stinky right now. Uh, Mud Dog83, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 38 months. Insane nerd basement. Yeah. It is a dungeon of the Mad Mage. You know what? We should we should bring it back. Let's bring back calling basements dungeons. <laughs> yeah. The good old days. Yeah. This is not the last stream ever. This is just the last stream probably of 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 the, before Crimbles. I've been opening my yeah. advent calendar. I apologize. I haven't been posting pictures to uh, Twitter that much, but some of the gifts have been quite fun. I got like a punk patch, and uh, some other things. What is a punk patch? I don't it's think like, I've heard yeah. that before. It's like a patch you put on your, your cool punk jacket to show oh, that you're Oh, like just like a badge, but not really. Yeah, it's like a like a fa like a fabric thing to put on your thing. Ah, oh, okay, patch, patch. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stickers, got some lovely standees of some characters that are spoilers, which is great. <laughs> Give me one second. Oh I'm just gonna... boy, I love spoiler. Oh. <sighs> How are you doing, chat? Oh, thank you, Dragon Sun. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Here's some holiday bits for my favorite D and D dungeon master. Thank you so much. <laughs> what I'm good yeah, at, we'll Fable Phantom, my brother. You heard her, everybody. Brother. Last stream ever. Yeah, this is the last stream for this year. You have to wait a whole year until I stream again, chat. Well, that's not entirely I... true. There's another Mad Mage before the end of the year. <laughs> that is true, actually. Yeah, we're, there's going to be more. Bye, she bye, uh, had to make you panic. There is a sort of storm going on over here at the moment, so if I just die, then we're free. Disappear, and that's what happened. Then we're free. The curse has been lifted. <laughs> the curse is gone. The evil has been defeated. The Horcrux has been destroyed. Little Hooray! man, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for five months. Hope you have a good Christmas. Thank you. And Uncle Comic Book Guy, thank you so much for the three hundred bits. Thank you so much. And fifty bits from Doom Knight. Here's here down. Here down bit for poor blue boy. I think they're talking about you, Thaddeus. Poor blue oh. boy. I appreciate good shade of blue. I appreciate Bracky like whipping up a blue Thaddeus for this. It's yeah, so great. it needed to happen because and, I am, and like, I am progressively curing. becomes more blue. I am not curing him. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so he better get used to it. Uh, you don't even so... know if we can. Are you guys ready to uh, delve back into the Dungeon of the Mad Mage? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really do yeah. recaps for episodes, but for those who had missed the previous episodes, the party had a harrowing battle, and I forgot to upload the most recent episode to YouTube. Oops, because I've been a little distracted. But, Nobody, uh, nobody's at fault for the battle, by the way. Don't look at Nix and Bertrand. We're totally Nix. innocent here. Nix. <laughs> Nix. Uh, the party... Oh accidentally released some demons and had to fight them and those demons released more demons and you can see where that went so we ended up having an extra long by like an hour and a half extra long session 
Uh, we ended right at the end of combat, so if all the players are ready to go, let's delve back into the dungeon of the Mad Maid, shall we? Yeah. 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 So we all just pass out on the floor, right? Like, that's where we're ending, like, for a long time. Yeah. No, we, well, we didn't decide that. We just finished and we finished there. It would be really funny if we did that. It would be really funny if I used Cure Wounds on myself a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, like, what? 2 HP? I don't know. Quite low. The last thing, the last thing we were going to do before anything was we were going to write on the demon, like, a sign that says, Don't break demon inside. Oh, that's right. I did pull out my chalk. I was going to tell everybody not to break him, and then I was going to vandalize his face. Don't demon break inside. Put a little mustache on the... Oh, don't statue. get me wrong. I'm climbing up that statue, and I'm drawing a mustache. It's worth noting, none of these creatures left behind actual tangible corpses. Mm -hmm. so they, like, bubbled away, right? They bubbled away, yeah. They went back to the bubble dimension. Anyways, let's see... Oh, oh goodness, like, that got that over with. Now, about that treasure room, he's gonna walk over. I'm gonna go over and hug Princess. Thank you for s hey. saving me. Oh. Thaddeus, we have to wait for Lionel's permission now. What? what why? I think I got in trouble last time. He's <laughs> just in the corner, just Lionel staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> just it's like, daggers. You know, like a, you know, like when the anime characters are in like the dark shadow, and they just like you see every <laughs> crease on their face, and their eyes are narrow, and they're like you just feel the energy kind of wiggling off of them. I'm like backing around oh, with good. Thaddeus to like cover his gaze. <laughs> oh goodness, he is. Oh, he's quite peeved. Mm. Don't mm -hmm. care. He's gonna go through the tap tapestry anyway. Right? He went first. It's oh. okay. As you oh. walk through the tapestry, it is a blank wall on the other side. Ooh. Uh, perception check? Go for it. Wait, blank what? wall as in, like, you just, you just move the tapestry and just the wall there? Uh, Lionel, Here. you yeah. also have, a Like, um, how do I word that he has advantage on perception checks on this entire floor? <laughs> you're so knowledgeable? <laughs> you're, you're so knowledgeable you're... after reading those blueprints. Do you want to ch um, check the, the wall? He's <laughs> just going to walk up and not say a single thing and start looking. <laughs> but the aggressive and passive aggressive. So, um, Bertrand, um, do you think that that was the actual no, Zunderbrook not... room? 16, but it's technically a... Uh... It's persuasion, it's not a perception. Yeah, I know, it, it's the same. It, it's a 17. It's a 17? Okay. Yeah. I do oh, not know. I probably should open my book right now. That'd be a, probably a pretty smart idea, huh? Is I don't... I'm just, I'm just kind of reference everyone. I don't think that was the real Zunderbrook room. I think we should continue saying it. Right. Zunderbrook! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe needs a bit of the inflection of Zonda Rook. Mm, that's probably not it. Uh, Bertrand, you're pretty good at it. Could you give it a go? Bertrand? What? I'm sorry. He seems very distracted. <laughs> He's just blanking uh, out. How, how much is he bleeding? <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, medium bleeding. Okay. Uh, medium, bleeding. just a little bit. Give me one second. Uh, I will kill the magic. There you go. Okay. Have an eight healing. Uh, you detect magic behind you towards the statue, the uh, abjuration magic. Uh, in the one statue to the northwest, um, you can see somewhat residual, like, conjuration magic right in the room between the tapestry and the chamber you're currently standing in. Uh, but beyond that, you detect no magic. There's nothing back here. I no. don't believe it. No. I think, no. if anything, we have to break it down. Or we could yeah. take a long rest and we could try again tomorrow. Yeah, you we should close all the secret doors leading here and take a rest. Do we just want to rest behind the tapestry? Like a hidey hole? I'll take it. Yeah. Did you write down, don't open, don't break the one inside? I did. I wrote on chalk. Okay. With chalk on. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm feeling, to be perfectly honest? We handled that quite well, all things considered. 
And if there's only one of them, let's just take our rest and just destroy the last one. What? Well, then it won't I mean, be anybody else's problem. It's probably not the worst idea. It, it, it's probably... Because the one that was in, encased here that we originally released was sentient before we released it. So it's probably sentient and knows who we are. And if it ever does get released, it might come for us. That, and I personally believe that if we destroy all of them, the treasure will finally appear. Seriously, you can't tell me we just did all that for nothing. There has to be a switch here somewhere. He's going to, like, entire, practically look the around the walls. The entire thing with the as we were told by the ghost of the dwarf, was to not mess with to be careful with them. So I don't think they're part of the puzzle. I don't think yeah. so either, but clearing them all out might be for the best. Let's, also, let's... Do it after we take our rest. Oh, look, for that's what we decide. sure. Yes, let's lick our wounds and interrogate this last one to find the treasure. Because I am not walking out of here with nothing. Are you all insane right now? I'm tired. Uh, a little Just bit, admittedly. Yeah. Right, Bertrand, are you first? coming into? <laughs> Taking a look. Yeah. Bertrand, are you coming into the hidey hole? Uh, yes. and we we closed all the, uh, the secrets leading here, like all of them, right? Yeah, I think that we could do that. Assuming that we can do that, I don't know. Are we like, <laughs> can we close all the doors? You can close the door that you for this chamber, sure. You do have a all giant right. pit between you and a lot of other doors. Yeah, that's true. Actually, Nyx wouldn't be able to jump that very easily. <laughs> all right, you guys, go behind the giant kind of tattered tapestry hunker down go ahead and write off a ration and water for the day goodbye ration goodbye water mm. and no yum, yum, yum. no uh watches are needed presuming you do one but this is a very sequestered yeah. area behind a bunch of secret doors mm -hmm. nothing disturbs you during your rest so you all gain the benefits of a long rest congratulations hey, hey. hey. have four more days of rations. Uh, same here, but don't Five, worry. Yeah. Thaddeus has like a bajillion, remember. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> uh, you could take time traveling shenanigans for that, apparently. <laughs> so time travel mm. or are you trapped in stasis? You know what? I'm not sure I want to figure out, but it happened, so <laughs> let's just deal with it, okay? So, if we wake up totally refreshed, are we allowed to re-roll perception checks, or...? You may, yeah. Okay. I'll do the, uh, the aid for us. Should yeah. I roll a perception, actually, or should I roll an investigation? Does it matter on this per wall? Perception. Okay. I'll also do mine. Ba basically, if you're looking for secret doors, it's always perception. Okay, 22. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am know, here. You wake up and you've never been this sore in your life. <laughs> oh, I need a mattress so badly. You were poisoned, punched, slashed. I was Night actually. In the words of Yoshi P himself, nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> uh, but as you guys, but as you guys awaken for the morning. Nyx, you again kind of pace up and down the wall running your hand over it. You even ask for a boost from somebody, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. And eventually you find three individual buttons set into the wall that you press and Lionel before you. A large door opens. Oh. Will you look at that? Oh, thank That's... goodness. We won't have to interrogate that final uh, demon, I guess. Well, we probably should anyway, you know, for the greater good. But let's get our treasure first. He's gonna like. Oops, I forgot to check for pits, fingers. but it's too late now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you walk inside, let me just really quickly give me two seconds here. Okay, I'll be Again. patient this time. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of text. She says, as I already see Nyx, like, 40 feet away. No. <laughs> it just instant transmissions. It disappears into the darkness. Teleport behind you. Where are your secrets? Nothing personnel, kid. 
A stone dais supports a large sarcophagus, a perfectly cut slab of white marble etched with silver atop it. A third one? So I, I, I'm going to say, I think maybe if there's three of them, this might be the right one. More than likely. The deeper we go... Wait, is there another wall behind this one? I imagine this is like, Lionel's already got like two arms strapped to his back and now... <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't get a chance to grab one from this one yet. And I don't That's... think hold we on. should. Wait, hold a moment, I want to try this for once. Zonderbrook! Nothing happens. Fucking... Ah, so they were just lying to us. Good. Goody. I know. I'll, I'll block line of sight to Bertrand. Um, if there's an arm in there, take it. I'm gonna block Bertrand. line of sight. He hasn't even come in yet. <laughs> I think he's hanging out with Princess. Oh, that's right. This is the wall right here. So yeah, he... Go! Go now! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Detect Magic to see what we, what we were dealing with. Uh, can you click Detect Magic for me, please? It's... Detect magic. Okay. You detect magic inside of this uh, sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. What type of magic? I'm looking it up right now. Give me one second. Um... I'm going to say divination magic. Oh. Curi oh what? Is okay. the divination magic on the sarcophagus or in the sarcophagus? Inside of it. Inside of it. Huh. Divination implies just observation, right? Or uh Or like future telling. Hmm. It's usually not harmful. Can you check for trap snakes? See if the the cover the the uh, cover itself is rigged. I will go up and I will investigate traps. Uh, twenty one. As you kind of look around, you see no traps. Interestingly enough, uh, on top etched is lettering that seems to read out something that you can't make sense of. Okay, Bertrand. Yeah. Oh, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kind of like slowly shamble in. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh no. Can you read that, Monty? Ah, uh, yes. It says Malaire on top of it. <gasps> the words. The king. Uh, they say Malaire. And it is etched in pure silver. Malaire. That was the name of the king. Yeah, it is. Okay, this might be the actual tomb of the of the king. Might be. There's a divination magic inside of the coffer, but does it look like it's heavily like sealed, or like if it could be opened easily, or the what? lid looks reasonably heavy? Yes. Teamwork, guys. Everybody on a side. And look, I'm just gonna say it, but there's five secret doors and a pit trap from here to like where we started. So this, if there was any sarcophagus that was gonna be the real one, I think it would be this one. Yeah, let's do this. All right, how are let's you guys see what doing this? Man this? Has for us. Uh, can we give advantage to um? Two of the players that maybe have a better strength score. Okay, or... Bertrand. Bertrand has I think advantage. it's Bertrand and me. I think we have the best two. I think Thaddeus has a decent one too. So let's say this Wisp, saucer? Wisp, and Bertrand uh, what... have advantage, and Thaddeus, you just roll a uh, strength check, please. Okay. Uh, sorry, everything is keep, keeps cutting out for some reason. It's Thank God for the score. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's a save for your second one. Uh, it's the same number. Uh, though. Yeah. But a strike. So oh, I got a nine. Okay. Natural twenty from Zan though. Thaddeus Ooh. and Wisp, you guys are like, like your your muscles are bulging. There's like veins. There's sweat dripping. 
And then Bertrand, even though you're sad, you walk up with one hand and shove off the lid of the oh, sarcophagus. Sad freak. <laughs> the sad power. Oh, oh. So sad Inside, <laughs> you see the mummified corpse of a dwarven king clad in ceremonial burial robes, clutching in one hand a beautiful looking war pick, and in his and uh, on his legs bearing a symbol of Dumathion. A beautiful shield and Lionel, that is the source of the divination magic that you had oh. sensed. Identify. Ooh. You casting identify? Uh, if I am, I think that can do the. Sorry. Yeah, if you give me 10 minutes, I can identify that shield. Can you check inside the cover to see if there's any, uh, any traps next? Yeah, before you reach in and grab stuff. <laughs> I was typing. I was. I really wasn't reaching in. Uh, Sixteen. It's advantage, so don't worry about the natural one. You don't see anything. I I don't see any traps. I'm. I mean, I gotta be honest. I kind of want the hand to see if we can get in the shrine, but I also feel like if we get in the shrine, we should return the hand. Is everybody yeah, okay with I that? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that seems like a good idea. Okay. I mean, we were led here. Um, I think they would want someone to... The ghost straight up told us how like, to get here. Yeah, I think we have blessing to... Not defile, but like, obtain the treasure that was protected here. I think this civilization is long gone, and I just want someone to appreciate the works of it. That's how you people want to read into it to sleep better at night? I'm okay with that. Yes. Listen. <laughs> I don't know anything about religion. <laughs> I, as, as, totally long as, we, how it is. as long as we return the hand, I feel like that's the most important thing because it was his burial place. Um, I'm okay. So, do what give you me, want. Give me one second, because your your identify goes off. I want to make sure I'm getting the right description here. It requires touch. So if something happens, if if I touch the shield itself, there's that. Okay. It's a shame it's not a weapon. Mm -hmm. But it might be, actually. Here is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM mm. what this is to you, uh, oh. Raggy, directly. Oh, see? Because you learn Ooh. it, so you can you can do with this as you wish. Where the fuck? Oh, I kill you? Nyx now. <laughs> I stab <laughs> Nyx! Here you go. Power Good word luck without your rogue. <laughs> that is what you identify after placing your hands on the shield and spending the ten minutes speaking at your incantation the information of the shield is revealed to you. Hmm. Is it well, Lionel? Neat. Well, the shield itself, itself is magical. It makes you more perceptive. And it makes you more ready for combat. In other words, advantage or initiative rolls. Ooh. Hmm. And wisdom perception checks. Who of us uses shield? Uh, me and Bertrand, but Bertrand's not been using his much recently. But I'm still open for them to have it, if they want it. I would, you know what, I would argue giving it to Wiz, mainly because having the cleric have advantage on, on initiative is a good idea. Yeah, I can get the blast up faster, which would be really good. Like guarantee getting up before people get their attacks in, so they can always add the plus four. If you don't mind me, sir, and I'll take the shield from the from the uh, coffin. It's pretty easy. It's just above his legs. You just kind of lift it mm -hmm. out. Uh, Arthur, how are you feeling about us stealing from the grave? Can I insight he, you? Are you okay? <laughs> he's just kind of vacantly drifting his vision from left to right, not really, seemingly not really thinking anything, just kind of existing. You need some space, Bertrand. We can take you outside. No, I, 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 I am here. If you need any help, just... I, I am here. You need Princess? I can bring Princess in. He will just kind of nod and walk over to Princess. Okay. He phased through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even recognize the wall. 
Too depressed for walls. <laughs> <laughs> well. Just imagine it's like a Gmod model being pulled through a solid object until eventually it finds the other way around and slaps back. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna cut off the hand? It might not need cut off. Um, depends how long it's been here. Does he have a Wait, did they say which hand else? specifically? I just said a hand. It doesn't yeah. it matters. Only the hand of a king can open the doors. Uh, now that the the thing is open, what if we say Sunderbrook? Oh right. Uh, didn't we already say it? I thought. Well, Daddy said mean... it when he. That's but true. maybe maybe inside the yeah. co the coffee itself, I don't know. Thunderbrook? Nothing happens. <laughs> Damn it. The arm pops off and goes into your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you replace it with the skeleton hand you already have. You're like, here, Ooh. take this one. <laughs> you can keep this. I'll trade it for you. Yeah, trade. You can you can keep it. <laughs> okay, but seriously, which one of you guys wants to cut off the hand? Because I don't. Nick's Nick's kind of backs up. She's like, nah. -uh. I don't want to do it. All right, fine, I'll do it. But I get to be the one to open the door. Sure. All right, roll a medicine check for me, Thaddeus. Oh boy, am I good at that? Uh, let me check. Wow, no, negative one. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Hey, I rolled high. So okay, okay, not bad. What 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 I, what weapons do you have on you at this time? Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any weapons. All right, right you watch as Thaddeus, uh, <laughs> you step up towards the the sarcophagus, mm. and like a person snapping twigs over, like over their knee. Oh my god! You grab mm. the femur, like the the arm bone, like the I think it's not the is it a femur? A femur's leg, right? What's yeah, the arm? Yeah, in your leg. Yeah, femur's leg. What's the long one in your arm? Uh. You know what I'm talking about, though. The long yeah. one in your arm. You just take it over your your knee and you snap it off. And it's like, it requires okay, just... some yanking because it's like jerky flesh is still kind of on mm. it. And it's Ugh. a little, it's it's not Ugh. the cleanest break, but yeah, you have a mummified dwarf king hand. You may add that to your inventory. <laughs> All right, one, two. Oh, just fell right wait, off. Wait, hold oh. on. Which, which, hand, which arm did you take? Uh, he'll take the left one. Uh, considering okay. that you were where your, your character's token is... Uh, yeah. And the way that the king is placed, you would have actually, if you're the king himself, you would have taken the uh, the um, the left arm, is what you would okay. have taken. Okay, cool. So. Yeah. <laughs> da 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 da. Oh. Da 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 da. Ah, oh, oh. there we go. That's just lovely. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure of uh. it. Is he wearing a crown? Uh. We might. Yes, but it's man. like kind of. It doesn't list it as a treasure item, so it doesn't have any value. So I'm just gonna say that. Okay. It seems like th there is this. There is the war pick that also looks very nice. As well. Hmm. No, non magical, no nothing. Didn't yeah, didn't set off your. Just your very nicely protection. made. It looks like it's made out of very nice material. You can add it to West collection of uh, stolen oh weapons that never <laughs> belonged to him. I'll, you will, yeah, we oh can see God. the warpick. 13 abs is like, you search for the 10 tier 1 subs. Thank you so much. Hey. Is someone taking it? Yep. Okay, you may add an adamantine warpick to your inventory. Ooh! Oh. Adamantine! Oh, that um, is nice. The, did you give me the shield, by the way? I'll, yeah, I'll give it to you. Just, what, a head, <laughs> just a heads up, a warpick is a two-handed weapon. Yeah, I think that's... Weapon. Oh, that's better for... Uh, for good old depressed boy over there. <laughs> for but what what is the name of this shield? Like if I wanted the to sentinel look it up. It is a sentinel shield. You can find it on D and D Beyond if you look up the Mall of Magic. And you do have to be attuned to it, I believe, as well. Uh, uh, actually, no, you don't. That. You do not need to be nope. attuned to it. So yeah, it doesn't we count. Just have it with you. Does not count towards your attunement slots, which is pretty big because you only have three. Mm-hmm. Which mean, it means even if you don't uh, use shields, if you just have it on your person, you would have those advantages. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bertrand? Hmm. When I search shield in D&D &D, uh, in the I thing, I only get animated, arrow catching, brooch, and ring of mind shielding. I don't see a sentinel shield here. 
Yeah, maybe just try putting in Sentinel. If not, you may have to manually add it in. Oh god, manual. Hmm. I'll bring the, I'll bring the, uh, the warp pick with me using it as a staff because it's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, you're like dragging it on the ground. Bertrand! Wake up! Um, so, did you need help with something? Yeah, we got you a weapon upgrade. Oh, thank you. You're having more use to using the, 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 the like, two-handed weapons, so... I better use this one. He'll kind of give you a nod, um, and kind of carry it back towards Princess. I, I think Bertrand's broken, like, more um... than usual. Keep have I ever seen? How is that even possible? <laughs> have I ever seen Bertrand like this before right, with our previous party? Probably not. No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little worried myself. I think we should take a break. Uh, like, maybe from this floor as soon as we're done. They might what? want some uh, time away from the dungeon. I'm not sure. Let's look, that we'll, is we'll start heading idea. back to the shrine, and maybe you hang back and you talk to Bertrand a bit, okay? Sure. He knows you. He seems to listen to you more than us. Yes, yeah, so you two seem to be quite attuned to each other. Yeah, you and Princess are like, you know, his footholds in this dungeon. Oh, I hate to ask this. Did we check for more secret secret rooms in this room? Oh my god, I didn't. You never know. Five oh, is like, enough. Push the walls. Gosh, fourteen. It's not oh. great. It's no. like. Uh, and I'll do mine. That is, will try too. Okay, never mind. Four. You know, I rolled a fourteen and a natural one for one of my earlier perceptions in this game. You guys 16. press your hands around the the walls. You don't find anything. Okay. I'm Double just checking. Just can, you, can you fucking imagine? There's another secret door, and there's another coffin in the back. This one is the real we, thing. Turns out we needed his hand after all along. God, no, it turns out we need a hand from each sarcophagus. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! I appreciate sure that. If we touch oh, the one sorry, in the middle, it's going to be a trap for sure. Although okay, before so. we depart, we should we have to do have to address the elephant in the room. That mm -hmm. thing. He's gonna point at it. What do we do? I already wrote a message. I'm okay with leaving it. Yeah, maybe after thinking through, we we don't need to stir up more trouble. I don't think anyone's gonna come and break it, and if they do, it's not gonna know where to look for us. Hmm, fair enough. He's just gonna, like, go over there and point at it. Have a good eternity, idiot! <laughs> He's gonna move. He just... <laughs> just imagine... Like the camera pans towards the demon, zooms in closer and closer to the eyes, and a little tear goes down. Oh. <laughs> you just hear muffled screaming inside. By the way, uh, did Wisp cast eight again today? I did. Or... I did. Okay. Me, you, and Bertrand again, as always. Okay. For 10 temp HP that can be healed. I figure I should double check. Uh, do I need to roll to jump across this pit now? No, you guys don't need to roll to jump okay. across. <laughs> what is the uh, weight of this Ventimore shield? Is it the same as a regular shield? Uh, magical items do not have a carrying weight to them. Whoa! Wow, really? Yep. Unless otherwise identified, I don't believe they do. Because they're uh, the whole thing with magical items is they can change their size to be accommodate whatever mm. thing that they're Makes with. Sense. So I don't believe they have carrying weight. Potions, I think, do. Stuff like that kind of do, but that's because they're more, you know, consistent, I suppose. Well, I guess we'll come up to the second sarcophagus. I will roll a proper trap investigation. Okay. A 20. 20. Uh, for what? What is that for again? Sorry. I'm looking to see if it's booby trapped in any way. You don't see any traps, no. Hmm. I don't see any traps. 
Um, Don't think we mess with it. Detect magic on Lionel? Uh, You do, don't you? Yep. Okay, you detect a fuck ton of conjuration in here. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Coming from every single one of... There's these panels... Uh, mm. That has a bas relief image of a of a dwarf warrior clutching a battle axe, and they are all just like oozing conjuration magic. Yeah, I believe and we touched this thing. The sarcophagus in the middle also has conjuration magic on it, but it's like a little spot of it. If we mess with this, uh, it might conjure something against us. Can you tell if they're all like linked together, or if it's like individual? Like, so I see tethers magic. connected, linked to each other. You do not. That's too powerful. I don't think so. Detect magic doesn't okay. give away everything. It gives yeah, you yeah, kind yeah. Of a... Yeah, it's uh, not a not my uh, expertise to do that one, but I, I can only assume. Well, it's up to you if you if. You think... I don't think we mess with this room. No, okay. I believe the one we found at the very end of all these hall was the actual king. Uh, if we want to head a- go ahead, uh, does Whiff actually want to have a conversation with Bertrand? Or- you know, I'm, I'm hanging back, and we're just kind of... I don't know if I'm going to immediately start opening up with some conversation, but I'll just kind of walk with him and just keep an eye on him for now. Just, like, give him a nod whenever they look in my direction. Like, you can, you can, you can talk if you need to, but I understand if you need time. Uh, he's just kind of keeping relatively quiet and close to Princess. I'll just be on the other side of Princess. Um, Let's go make of... a way and see if we can open that uh, door with a hand or not. One of these two ways might head back to the shrine. If you look at the map, mm-hmm. there it was a bottom door. Or, or no, those are actually the black doors. Never mind. Yeah, that's not the ones we need to open. Um, I mean, we could technically see if it walks around, but I think it's faster just to go up and to the right. The, ro- the way we know? Yeah. Yeah, this way. And the way I just the turned the light off on. Okay. <laughs> Turn it back on. Turn it on. For the sake of brevity, do you guys want to just go back to the main chamber? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We all group up and you teleport yeah, us. Everybody group up and I'll reveal that area and we'll. Wait, do we roll for an encounter though, in case there's something shifting around? That's up to Monty. He's up to Monty. Yeah. She'll just throw a bathroom toad on Lionel if there's something wrong. No. Not again! <laughs> Bring that horror up again. I have my magic, magic, I can see invisible shit. Well, not, not to see it, but I can, I can feel Lionel, the invisible And thing. Lionel never pooped safely ever again. <laughs> never. I think Lionel just doesn't poop anymore. I think he creates a magical portal for his poop to go into. You know, he yeah. cut a butt flap into his pants now, so he doesn't actually have to pull his pants down. That's what he did. <laughs> He's, just like He's a cut a magical flap. diaper. Oh no! <laughs> Look, back in Hogwarts, they didn't use the bathroom. They used it <laughs> They just, they just whooshed it away. Just to separate the poop. Give me a second here. God. <laughs> they wouldn't even take their pants off. They would just like fucking do it, and they would just whoosh it away to like. Press the station. Whoosh. Whoosh. I know. Why do you have two magical planes? You, you you don't want to go to one of them. Why do you have two what now? <laughs> Why do you have two personal magic planes? <laughs> One's just for poop. It's just that's just what it's right, going everyone's to be. Everyone's grouped up. Excellent. Yep. Give me a second here. While fly on the my tablet is very slow. It has not been able to use map. Wall fly, long. you can do it, I believe. Ooh, it's chugging. Hi, Wolfly. All right, I'm gonna hide. Here we are. Now. Woo! Well, Woo! Thaddeus claimed the honors. Remember, so everybody ah, takes yes. ten feet back from Thaddeus. Another yes, room. Let of... me handle this. Oh, oh Thaddeus wasn't. We made. Yeah, yeah. Thaddeus didn't experience this room to its full potential. So, I think mm. right. Nix is gonna stand back and uh, let him do his thing. All right then, let's take care of this. Fi- now, where is this main chair? Why are there is there a pile of bodies over there? Ignore that. Uh, yeah, you you missed a few things. 
There's also a large. We've... Actually, I should bring it back. So I can put it on the... It's like shattered on the floor, right? It is, yeah. Wait a moment. There's something I want to see. He's gonna go over here real quick. Uh, he remembers that lady with the diamond cloak or whatever. Oh, it was. your your <laughs> allies fucking took that shit. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, you destroyed it. That was destroyed. I wanted it. a new cape. Oh uh, yes, yeah, yeah, destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it on the mule? <laughs> It, it is, is gone. <laughs> it is obliterated. Hmm, well, you owe me for that. I had my eyes on it before I disappeared. Oh, that's some so reason. Sad. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want him to wear that around in public. He's <laughs> <laughs> a walking target. Doing him a fashion favor. All right, fashion. so where is this chamber? Uh, it's the there. giant black door is right over there. You see the ah, eyes. yes, the giant intimidating obsidian doors. Excellent. I, it's basalt, actually. Um, hold on, is it basalt? It said, I, we were told by the yeah. ghost that it was black basalt doors, yeah. right? It, there, yeah. it is black basalt doors that are flanked by two glowing quartz pillars. And above the double doors is a bas-relief carving of a mountain with a gem at its heart. Hmm, I see. All right, then. Let's do this. He's gonna crack the knuckles, crack the knuckles on the hand. <laughs> Open sesame! He's gonna lift it up. Lift up what? The hand. Okay, the you door. lift up the hand and yell, Open sesame! Nothing happens. Touch, touch the door with the hand, Thaddeus. Ah, right, of course. That was my second option. <laughs> He's gonna get a bit closer. Open sesame. He's gonna touch the hand with it. Okay. The doors. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Eddie, are you okay? Are you still in there? Oh yes, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> I, I just had to but see what But what does he see? Inside. You see the a large okay hold on a twenty foot high room out of pure rock. Thin veins of mithril spread across the hewn walls, looking like glimmering cracks in the stones, as if false starlight. A large tapestry depicting a dwarven kingdom under a mountain hangs from an iron rail and spans the entire southern wall. On the eastern wall, a tall oval mirror is mounted. Carved into its stone frame are dozens of lidless eyes. Oh my goodness. This is... Well... I would say breathtaking, but we have seen many breathtaking things here. Lionel, you have Detect Magic up? Uh, if he hasn't been past ten minutes, yes. It is dense with divination magic in this entire chamber. Like, oh, an, like an omnipresent fog. Oh. And it sucks that nobody here is a dwarf. I don't know if that would have any effect in here, but... Oh. Bertrand, I think we should get closer to the room in case anything happens. Yes, of course. Yeah, I remember earlier in this floor, Monty mentioned something along the lines of like, Man, if there was what a dwarf in your party, like they would go insane on this floor. Like, yeah, does this have something to do with that? Probably. <laughs> Getting here, you too. You need to witness this. The start of all dwarven glory in the Ender Mountain. Um. Okay, so to the south was the tapestry, and to the east was a mirror. Yep. A okay. tall a oval mirror is mounted on the eastern wa wall. As you get closer, Nyx, you can read, carved into its stone frame, it reads, The gate cannot hide from those it cannot see. The gate cannot hide from those it cannot see. Oh, like right, invisibility? Almost... Is this an art gate? Is it? Follow the same design, right? Nope, it doesn't look game. similar at all. It is a large oval mirror. 
Hold on. Let me just write this down. Black. Inside. Uh, um, build it. Can also, another gate? question. Like, you know, like, the, the mirror is on the east wall, like, right here, right? What's on the other one? Ah, uh, there's nothing there. Yeah, I guess it would be. Oh, oh, actually, if you read it out, it says the gate cannot hide. So if the gate is, it, if it is an art gate, it's hiding from us because we can see it or it can see us. So if maybe we are invisible, there is a gate there. It's the gate cannot hide from those who cannot see? No, those it cannot see. Those so the gate can see us, so it's hiding, essentially. So if one of us, or if you're invisible, like, maybe there is a gate there. The gate yeah. cannot... The gate cannot hide from those it cannot see. Yeah. So it might be invisible. Uh, we have that. Before before casting that... Veteran? Yes. Could you do the honors? Uh, uh, what do you need me to do? The word. Oh, uh, Zonderbrook. Nothing happens. Fuck! <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, darn it. Wait, is, is Bertrand feeling get bad because he feels guilty about the demons? Bertrand? Um, yes. Uh, you notice that he's no longer wearing his purple tabard. Just kind of broken, beat up armor now. Bertrand? You know, none of us died, and it's technically a good thing. I mean, we fought the demons, and now they're not going to be there to attack somebody else. You're right. It has ended well. Probably for the better. Why don't you sound like you believe it? I'm not sure if I do. Wisp, Veteran. I think he feels extra guilty because you're, you almost died. I think you need to do to cheer him up. Uh, I've been in worse scrapes with you before. We, we've we've gone through worse. Uh, I don't think that's the worst thing we've ever been in. I think we're gonna be fine. Okay. I hope you're right, dear friend. You usually are. I'm not great at helping people, as I've learned on this floor. We'll work on him slowly. Can I perception this room? I haven't done it yet. Go for it. 28. There's nothing else in here. I think we've seen all there is to see in this room. Do we want to try the invisibility spell? It's up to you, Lionel. That is one thing. The only issue is that if, he, if I turn one person invisible, the others are going to still be visible. And we have they to be in the room alone. The Hold a moment. I believe there's an... But there's a solution to this. What if it, uh, what if it's all in the mirror? So, like, if we all, if we exit the room, one person turns invisible, enters the room, within the mirror's sight, it should activate it. And if the uh, if the arcade is activated, then it should be up for another minute or so. So Great we don't question. all have to be invisible. Um, is there anything peculiar in the reflection of the mirror? Like, if we look nope. into the mirror, it's just the mirror. Just normal. Okay. Yep. Just, never... just just a thought. It never it's occurred like a, to me. It's but, like a uh, funhouse mirror. <laughs> no, it is not. Can we be skinnier, or taller? <laughs> Before doing that, can we take down the tapestry? Uh, you as you go near the, the tapestry? tapestry, it looks like if you touch it, it will absolutely fall apart. Ah. Uh, it is that sad. old. I was hoping to sell it. <laughs> yeah, is no. the mirror like attached to the wall? Uh it is mounted to the wall. Yes. So wait, what are you, are you saying? Mirror or mirror? Mirror. Oh, it's a mirror. I thought it was like a, like the element, like the uh, like the uh, stone mirror. I don't know why. Mm. No, no, it is a mirror. <laughs> mirror. Yeah, that's why. And it's quite tall. It... It's like about probably seven feet tall. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's quite big. Well, I can try it. Is that yeah, it? I guess I'm stepping out the room. Espejo, I think, in Spanish. Yep. Hey, nice. All right, Lionel, are you going invisible? I'm casting invisibility. Okay. As you cast invisibility, you stand in front of the mirror. Yes. The mirror. 
the front of it, the reflective part, kind of becomes like water almost, like so almost, almost like the Stargate Gate, where it's like kind of like this rippling water effect. Okay, I see it. Can you guys see it? Do we peek our heads? Can we see the mirror? In? You guys peek in, and yet you guys see it. Oh, we, see we do it. see it. It's not an arcade, right? It's not like a like a like a normal arcade. It's just a different thing. It seems different, yeah. Uh, do you want to try it, Lionel? Technically, East is over here. I don't know why you're all going oh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's East. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. If you, you know, you've been doing it quite a lot lately. Let me do it as for you, Lionel. Uh, where are you? Well, as, as he said, <laughs> I, mean, I already dunked my head inside of the mirror. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if this isn't uh, an arc, right. we could technically all go through together, right? Lionel, you're going through? I'm, I'm I'm getting my head through it, yeah. Okay. What level are you? Ah, uh, fuck oh, me. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Level check. Uh, level nine. nine. Level nine? <laughs> okay. Lionel, as you dunk your head through, you feel your body pulled inside of this mirror. This time you're not floating. This time you're like, not floating on water, but floating in open space. And you're just kind of like fast talking, like just. How's it as? swirling around you and you can almost you almost feel like a kite being held by the thinnest of threads and at any point a buffet will blow you off course and immediately you feel someone grab your bat and throw you and you guys all watch as Lionel is tossed out from the mirror and you kind of slide across the floor and the mirror sh sh solidifies once more Oh, Wait, goodness. Am I visible? Oh. Are you injured? Wait, am I visible? You are visible, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Damn. That was aggressive. Are, are you okay? No. <laughs> no, actually, no. Oh, God, that's what's terrifying. Hmm, maybe the entity that has gotten tired of you and trying to enter the po this portal <laughs> sometimes. It has been know. you every time that we haven't been able to go through. Oh. Some of us have to be the brave explorer that boldly runs ahead and ventures into crazy land. That's got to be Lionel, right? We all just sl slowly turn and stare at Nyx. It's my job to fall in pits. It's his to go in portals. I'm going to hide behind Bertrand. Not only that, it's... <laughs> okay, so I'm mainly going to portals myself because I, if, if I have the spell to open it, I'm not going to let someone one of you get stuck in there. That is mm. true. That is a good point. It's not entirely just because I want to be the first one. Except the elven one. I tried to go first, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the horny that... gate, as we called it. <laughs> so, what's the point in here? Is there's a, there's, a, there's a gate we can't go through at the moment. There doesn't seem to be an, uh, not a secret room here. There doesn't seem to be any treasure. Uh, I... It's kind of a shame because I don't think we're going to be able to leave these doors open. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to return the hand. Does this door look like it's going to self-close if we leave it? You like, could know. we leave them open? We can try and close it. Um, I still feel better about leaving the hand uh, back with the body. We can't really risk it, though. If we were given permission, then I don't really see an issue. There are old religions, even some of the dwarven, that hold relics of ancient kings and priests. Well, yes. Bertrand oh. even says it's okay, then actually, I am I trust him more on any than anybody else. Well, maybe Wisp, when it comes to, like, defiling graves and <laughs> body parts and stuff. Shifty eyes. <laughs> the, dwar the dwarven ghost says the heart of the mountain can only be accessed by a king dwarf. Mm -hmm. Black Whistle doors, right? 
So I'm going to assume this mirror goes to the heart of the mountain. Also, uh, point of reference as well. All of you notice as Lionel's kind of moving about the room, he smells weird. Wait. What point? Mm. Ah, stinky. That's just my natural <laughs> must. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> can, I, can we any of us roll to try and identify this smell? Sure, go for it. What should I, I roll? roll? Uh... Roll a stink check. Oh, now I'm a stinko. <laughs> I'm gonna no. say Arcana, Arcana, maybe? Or uh, survival. Oh, great. The stinky boy is... Ar Arcana or survival, I'll say. Why are you looking at me like that? Level 10s. Oh, at least Bertrand's got a good nose. He know he He's used to it in Skullport. He knows what Ooh. he's smelling. Ooh. Oh. Swiss. Oh. Bertrand and Wisp. You're not sure why, but Lionel smells like a surgery room. Oh. You smell as though you've returned from some sort of hospital. What? Um, like chemicals? Um, um, kind of like, um, I don't know, like, is it a room where you can operate on people, like, to fix them up? I, you know, I don't really know how to describe it. I just smell weird. Hmm? Yeah, it smells kind of like butchery shop and like mm. like chemically like it's kind of a weird mm. cocktail of both like iron and chemicals yeah, is there poison. anything on my back from what I, what I was grabbed you look behind you no there's nothing it's just a kick me sign on his back <laughs> loser <laughs> it's just kick the stinky kick stinky <laughs> I'm gonna say Wiss with, with the natural 20 he smells like a lab uh, laboratory. It's probably like the most accurate thing he smells. Maybe like. like a chemical lab where maybe they're messing with bodies as well because it's the hint in there as well. Whatever right. that was, he knew I was there despite me being invisible. Did the eyes on the mirror kind of remind us of like the eyeballs on like, you know, Alistair's like whole ensemble? Mm -mm. Do they? Mm, they are eyeballs. Oh. Can I roll? Do they look similar? I like, in their design? I can't confirm assumptions <laughs> here. I'm sorry, okay. Shay. Yeah, it, I, I, I won't be looking like eyeballs, so... I mean, like, the, the Mad Mage house... That's like... subjective. I can't I can't confirm <laughs> subjectivity. I'm sorry. I don't know. You're the one with the book. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't... You're the one with the book. <laughs> yeah, Monty, can we vibe check the room? <laughs> yeah, vibe, yeah check we vibe check. Well, uh, so, okay. Lionel is vibe checking this room, and this room is filled with vibes, so you know. So let, let's get this, the facts again. We have divination magic. It's like just so, there's so much in this room. Yeah. We have the mirror. We have the tapestry. And what else was in this room? There are mithril veins else. that are oh. very pretty. They kind of make like a sparkling effect running up this. So it's chamber. a mithril vein mine. Okay, let's let's take down the tapestry and see if there's anything behind it. Well, you guys already did a check and you did not find anything behind it. Okay. Yeah. As yeah, far as you're concerned, you have scoured this room and this is what's in here. Oh, come on. We're we're definitely missing a key component here. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think we can achieve the whatever you're supposed to do in this room at our current well, state. The thing is, I either wasn't strong enough to get to this, or only the Dwarven King can go through it. Maybe just the Dwarf in general. Hold a moment. I believe I have an idea. The, he still is holding the hand in his, like, his own hand, and he's going to try and go through the portal. Well, it's gone. Well, it's, it's not open anymore. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 No, he still tries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> going to do it again. Um, open sesame. Nothing happens. Okay, well, that, that goes my idea. You know what? This was a lot more exciting yesterday when I was going down, like, three secret doors, and uh, I'm a little less excited now. <laughs> yeah, especially after that encounter yesterday. <laughs> Not only am I less wonder. excited, but I'm also more disappointed. Seriously, is there seriously no other treasure in here? Come on. He's gonna look, look around the tapestry. It would have been fine if it was just lore. I would have been okay with lore. Lore? <laughs> lore? No He's gonna writing. look behind the tapestry. 
If we already did nothing. You already did, yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, shit, that's go, right. Can we go back and talk to the spirit ghost? Is the spirit ghost still I, around? Can we ask? <laughs> yeah, we hey, ghost, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, she, she's she gone now. All the bones fell yeah. to the ground. And... Ah, I curses. Can... Damn. Can we call ghost support real quick? <laughs> ghost <Yeah>. support? <laughs> We got I tried installing that the hand of the ancient dwarven king and it doesn't work. <laughs> what do I have do? Have you tried with turning that? it on and off again? Well, oh, you grabbed the wrong hand. Oh, of course, <laughs> silly. Darn it. Needed both of them, of course. Now, now talk what to you're going to want to do... We have to speak with dead. We can speak to the, to the dead hand or uh... dead king, maybe. <gasps> we could speak with the dwarven king. Sure, oh. sure. I've, I've totally got that prepared. Well, there's, there's a caveat with how that spell is written, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, yeah. You can only use it after a certain amount of time. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Okay. Yeah. In, in, in Unexpectables, I make it like at any time, because I think it's more interesting, but in the pre-written modules, I have to run it as written, because, yeah, it's unfortunately, uh, I think it's like only three days. The corpse can't be dead. Like... Yeah, double check that. I don't have it yeah, prepared anyway, right. but let me check. What's, what's three days in Dwarven time? <laughs> 3,000 yeah, years, right? Here, like... uh, the corpse must uh, have a mouth, can't be undead, and they must have been dead within the last 10 days. Ah, okay. Uh, spoiler alert, he has not been dead for 10 days. No, <laughs> yes, sure. yeah. Yeah. Is that my is... entire theory, Oh Monty. my god, Stream 4 Star, thank you so much for joining a party of 26 people. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're desecrating know, corpses and talking about uh, <laughs> jerky kings. It was consensual. <laughs> Yeah, we got a permission. Yeah, yeah, you so we like that. We were invited to the oh, game. I don't think we got permission. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're we're to convince we, did. we got implication of permission. We that, were that's told that's all that matters. We were we told that the shadow of like... a hint of permission. Yeah, Bertrand we were... was okay with it, so that means it's got to be okay. We were told. Why is that, that the parameter? <laughs> <laughs> it is for for Nyx. If you're okay with it, like if if you're if, if you're... Dad's okay with it, then it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all, all we know is that we were told that the heart of the mountain lies behind these doors. Only Dwarven King can go in, and that's it. That's all it said to us. You know, to be fair, we were never actually told like that there was anything in here besides like the heart of the mountain. Well, yeah, we well, were told I, I, that you I, could find your greatness in the heart, but I don't really know that could have been a subjective thing. Like, you know, I look, thought... we work together, teamwork, greatness. Woo. I was hoping for the heart of the mountain to be like a gem or something, like a very valuable <laughs> gem. That's what you know, I was thinking as well. Been, you know, like, you know, like the, the heart of the movies. oceans? <laughs> I was hoping somebody died a bunch of years ago so that I could profit off of it. <laughs> You know, the people were the gem. That's what it was. The people were the heart of the mountain. There you oh, go. Guys, the gem were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Good okay. lord. Should we, well, should we there just was a bust. Leave? There was a couple pathways that we didn't go to the left on. Should we just Bertrand, Bliss, Thaddeus? Can we close yeah. those doors, by the way? Can we close the doors? <laughs> oh, by the time you guys, like, whoever has the hand begins to leave, the doors begin to close on their own. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh goodness. Well, they go well, at least we figured that part out. Well, Might we as well hold on to this in case. If we ever find a dwarf, let's ask him or drag him with us. I don't know. Whatever works for you. Bring a dwarf you, with us. You do realize they will ask for a cut. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he gets thrown out of the mere portal like the rest of us. Maybe <laughs> there's a nothing. Dwarf in a portal and see what happens. <laughs> Look, I'd rather <laughs> take a cut than have nothing at this point. I was gonna say, I love your logic game. of if I have nothing but no cut. That's granted. Good. Like, to be fair, we could take the we could take the uh, the mithril from the veins. If that we sounds like hard work. Yeah, it's also not a lot. It's yeah. very small veins. Yeah, there's nothing in the fucking room. <laughs> Just There's a shitload of divination magic. It was everywhere. Yeah. I swear to God, if Sunderbrook doesn't doesn't happen in this entire floor, I'm gonna be very fucking upset. I would blow up every single. It would have been an I've epic prank. God, you know, it's it's gonna be that room up in the top left with the Zorn. Oh. You know that we're trying to avoid because we don't want them to eat all of our no, loot. That's now. it. That yeah. It totally is a prank. That's why there's divination. They're magically recording our response. <laughs> oh, God. They pranked us. Oh, no. Hold on. Shit. Hold on. No. G give me that hand again. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I'll take it. I need to use identify and all those fucking divination things. Oh, goodness. You're really doing this, aren't oh, you? Oh, you're going to go in and cast identifying to see what the I'm divination gonna is? I'm going to cast identify. Fuck. 
Like, give me 10 minutes. All right, you guys going back into the fucking room? <laughs> God. All right. Nix is going to wait if you matter. We can just no, wait. Go back here. into the fucking room. You're going back. <laughs> We're just going to all... sit on the stairs with yeah. her. Yeah. Have a, have a little chill moment. Drink All some right. hot chocolate. Lionel, are you casting or are you, you 10 minutes in I'm this? I'm taking 10 minutes to identify it. Okay. Oh, good. We've left him alone. <laughs> <laughs> we all sat on the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> All right. So as everybody sits on the stairs while Lionel's doing his weird wizard shit, <laughs> Lionel, uh -huh. you cast identify essentially on the room, we'll say. Um, yeah, if I see something that's some sort of, source of divine magic, I'll touch it and it's identify. The room is filled with divine magic. <laughs> so you touch a wall, I'd say. Your mind is overwhelmed by the information that fills it. This room is the heart of the mountain. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And it is Just here the that the Malarican Dwarves came to learn secrets and receive divine guidance. While attuned to this room and inside of it, a dwarf can cast the divination spell at will. Fuck. Wow. Additionally, I don't know what the divination spell is. That's a fifth level spell it's that I can cast. But you need a big, big component to cast it. It's a big boy spell. There's a lot more information to that, but your identify doesn't give you everything. Mm. Additionally, well, creatures that finish a short or long rest in this chamber absorb some of the strength of the mountain and gain 10 oh. temporary hit points. Oh. Or 20 temporary mm. hit points if they're a dwarf. <laughs> Fuck you! Ah. Okay, can I find Tayshane to a dwarf for this expansion? No. It's just once oh, a no, creature, just play morph. <laughs> once a creature gains this benefit, it can't do so until the next dawn, and then only after finishing a short or long rest. Oh. Huh. Okay. No, that's cool, though. If we so want if to... we keep the hand with us, we could use it as a rest station, essentially. Okay, I just for just for testing purposes. What happens if I take a finger from the hand and try to open the door with it? <laughs> Ripping fucked. a finger off this the is, hand. This yeah. is fucked up. Let me read real fast. Uh, I am pissed at the door. Damn. Right now. If only we knew mending. Uh, Here, listen. It appears to need all the fingers to touch the door to open. Gotcha. So it requires. It says specifically it needs the hand. So. Oh. Okay. okay good. We nailed that one. Okay. I was going to give everyone a finger <laughs> to have like a key. <laughs> but okay. What is it? You attach this again? Friendship bracelet. The chamber. Uh, sure. I'm thrilled that I get to cast mending on a severed finger onto a severed hand. Is a hand an but object? <laughs> it is if they're dead. I guess. Uh, yeah. It's an object. Yeah, you guys found a cool map room. Have... Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It that Ooh. it was yeah. all worth hey, it. Hey chat. Hey chat. You want to play the new demand mage? Play a dwarf. <laughs> Could you imagine if Wisp actually died in the last encounter, and then afterwards we made it into this room, and we're like, it's okay, Wisp sacrificed himself for this room, <laughs> and then we all walk in there, and it's just like, it's a nap room. It's a nap room. It's nothing. Enjoy your rest. <laughs> Man. To be fair, you found what? a really cool shield and an Anamine Titan war pick, guys. It wasn't oh, yeah. a total no, bust. I like the shield. No, yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Bunch of party We're picking ourselves back up. We're doing. I'll, I'll start okay, erasing treasure out of this module. <laughs> oh, you watch me. Oh, 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 we haven't part. found. <laughs> you found a room in which to grieve in. Do you want to go back to the? You know what? Maybe it would have been cooler if I knew what the divination spell was. Okay, I don't know what the spell is. <laughs> Do you want me to? I'll read out uh, what it does so you guys can understand. I'm, I'm oh, super right. excited for the divination spell. Sadly, I'm an I'm a halfling. <laughs> I just I don't know what it is. Everybody was like, "Ooh, ah," well, and I'm so there like, "This is oh. this is this is what divination does. Your magic and an offering put you in contact with a god or a god servant. You ask a simple question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. The DM offers a truthful reply. The reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. The spell does not take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. Cough, cough." 
If you cast a spell two or more times before finishing your next long rest, there is a cumulative 25% chance for each casting after the first that you get a random reading. The DM makes this roll in secret. Oh, so you so basically you get learn some really good information from that. Yeah, that yeah. is true, and it is objectively true until you start casting a lot, and then it's not. It's arguably not true, essentially. Yeah, and as long essentially, as you don't do it multiple times the same day. And so, essentially, you could come back after each long rest and have another objectively true statement, right? Mm -hmm. But only if you're a dwarf. And only oh. if you're a dwarf. But it's still okay. It, it is cooler knowing what the spell does. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's so like a like lesson learn. If I die, I'm bringing a dwarf now. <laughs> no, no. I was kind. Of, I was possessed by a dwarf. Does that count? Am I like Does a quarter count? dwarf now? Yeah, yeah, gnomes are kind dwarf. of dwarvish. Yeah, an honorary Can we dwarf? use the headband to make one of them a dwarf? <laughs> no, because it only might turn you into a sexy <laughs> human. <laughs> oh, that's a Wait lame. a second. Now that I think about suck. it, would my human self be blue? Probably. Yeah. Do you want to teleport us back to the room we were in before? Or sure. Should we walk? Yeah, yeah just... everybody lump together. There's nothing. <laughs> no, there. we have to walk there. No. <laughs> okay. Taxi. Shoo. We, we have a, a, a fast travel button. Yeah, fast travel. God, when we tra fast right, travel, we go to the abyss. <laughs> you already have a fast travel to the abyss. It's called the Wisp Banishment spell against the demons. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's kind of like a medium travel. Like, fast travel, it would work on the first turn, you know? Give me one second. They can resist. I will reveal where yeah. they are in just a moment here. Nobody move, please. Just so I can... I'm not moving. Uh -huh. I don't even know where I am, too. Man. Yeah, I was... Oh, there we are. <laughs> hey. Nobody move. We're huddled. We're in our safety circle. Although, if we're a safety circle, we should probably switch the mule and wisp. Alright. <laughs> 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 wow you guys well, return to the false back. tomb you also still have that other skeletal hand uh yeah, lion, all that you picked up are you keeping that or what are you doing with that i'm keeping it make sure you have it are in you your keeping... inventory you're keeping both hands then uh oh shit which one is which the one is a mummified hand the other one was a skeleton hand so yeah yeah here, Thaddeus, you can take, you can get this one. <laughs> well, at least I guess it's better than nothing, I suppose. Is Here's it? Your... You guys are weird. Here's your participation Look, skeleton I'm hand. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at the like at the surprising lack of treasure we've been see we've been not receiving. <laughs> I'll take anything I can get. Yeah, we want to heal in the war pick. Oh. Here I am looking at this giant diamond that's worth at least six hundred yeah. in my hand, <laughs> and in the other hand, a magical <laughs> shield. And I'm Nix, like, yes. Nix, what are you talking about? Nix is like, well, at least treasure I can there. use. He wasn't there. He didn't see it. Be quiet, Wiz. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, all of that treasure that the, 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 the Rogar had, it exploded in the fireball. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops. He's just gonna. He just has such a disappointed frown. <laughs> mm. Nobody tell I him can't... about the cloak, I swear. <laughs> I mean, honestly, why would you get rid of such a valuable cloak? I mean, it was you made of diamonds. didn't get rid of it. It blew up. That's just, that's basically the same as getting rid of it. It's Anyways. negligently getting rid of it. I'll take a vote this time. Which way are we going, up or down? Oh, well, let me take a look at the map. We don't really have too much information from the map this time. No, but if we if we go north, we can just close that loop on like uh, that empty space. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but mm -hmm. feel good to get everybody's opinion. I said okay, we go north and stuff. What are you? What do you do to Nyx? You know what? I'm gonna roll trap, roll for once in my life. Twenty eight. Do I see a trap? You don't seem to see any traps now. Okay. Look, if you want to be the one to run ahead, you can be my guest. You can fall in a pit. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was giving us sassy mix now. Measure out 60 feet. There's no more beans now. There is only sass. Uh, measure out mm. 60 feet. <laughs> 
Do I roll for another trap roll? I feel like hey, we discussed nope. this when when Sauron was here. We are not going to roll for every single one. Yeah, okay. yeah no. I wasn't going to roll, roll for every hallway. The but... roll should be carrying for the entire hallway. Hold on, hold on, Nix. Oh Your no! Horror, as you get about here. God dang it! <laughs> okay, so okay. A pit trap, but luckily it's already sprung <gasps> and it's <gasps> not. Like actually a trap trap. It's just God, I, I, it. you. I want to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did I seriously just decide not to roll and then fall in a six well, one? I was like, <laughs> the the way we decided that when Sauron was here was to not roll for every single yeah. hallway. It's like we roll and that's going to carry for the hallway. No, it, it was because remember when we rolled down the one hallway and then I immediately turned the corner and then fell into the pit with Bertrand that filled up with acid? I was having flashbacks of that. Shay, so, oh. I don't want to be an asshole, but just accept your fate, man. Sometimes shit just happens and you're going to have to just deal with it. But you Sometimes do. Nyx, Nyx is going to fall in her sixth trap and eventually her seventh trap. And, and we're just going to keep it going, you know? Yeah, but, you, yeah. You, you might as well. Sure. Oh, so... Is there anything Dude, beyond gonna... the pit trap, there or is, is it just there the seems pit... to be a hallway beyond it? Oh, Lionel, you're in charge of the, the child leech today. No, I know. <laughs> I'm seeing how he's progressing. That's like giving a, <laughs> like a child like a, a, a bit like a <laughs> like a excited child... golden retriever's leash. You're just gonna get dragged <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> this, this child is being watched by a slightly older child. <laughs> <laughs> Babysitting. There's another hallway on the other side, but I suggest we follow this one first and maybe come back. Sure. Give me one second here. I need to read. Okay. I'm and just seeing how long she lasts before she goes ahead. Oh, that's fun. Uh oh. Look, if I'm just gonna fall in a trap, just put the trap on the map and then just just, just like tell me just tell me it happens. Just let this me, just, just let me room do it. Is just filled with dust. Oof. <laughs> Um, can I perception check? Is there, like, anything under the dust? Sure. Under the dust? I don't know, holy, secrets! Ho holy shit, Shay! It's floor! God! I don't know, look, we, there was, just, like, five secret doors down the other way, okay? Yeah! <laughs> in the Dwarven King's ancient Tomb of Discovery! This no, is a fucking know. hallway! Are you telling me there's nothing else to this floor but pit traps and dust now? <laughs> yeah. This could be the dust trap, it's King Room. You never know. <laughs> Man, we've already discovered all the secrets. Everything's a letdown past this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Have an auxiliary vault. Wait, is that really it? Is this just this rectangle with just dust? It's just got dust in it, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? See, now I'm not the only one disappointed, but dust. Mm. Uh, do we want to go across the pit trap here? Or do we want to yeah. go down? I mean, I guess. How do you guys what else? What other choice do we have? How do you guys want to Someone get throw the me! <laughs> That's the solution. Who's Bert throwing Nyx? Bertrand Cassidy. Bertrand. Bertrand. Are, you too, are you too sad to throw people right now? He'll kind of just sigh to himself and move over it might, to... It might make you feel better. You get a look at, at him as though, like, it's not going to, but he'll kind of, like... <laughs> To kind of like use his shield to kind of make a platform to in which to kind of like I don't know I'm making a motion but you can't see uh like a boost the, yeah kind of like a boosted throw. Okay, Bertrand, Nick's teamwork. Let's go. Whoop! Nick's your toss the other side. Going next. I Man, I can just climb over as well for the little alone over there. See how far does it scope out? I will also say, uh, Lionel, at this point, your detect magic is gone because it's been easily over yeah. ten minutes at this. Was point. there any magic in the dust room? No, God, no. <laughs> it was just oh. dust, guys. <laughs> but but sometimes, know. Okay, but maybe we can clean more from the dust, Monty. I'm gonna go back. You, no. <laughs> you even told us, you guys, just keep so many treasures and like, okay, so we're gonna have to investigate properly. I don't wish. I, Wait look, a see, minute. We what if there's a minute? <laughs> What if there's a message written in the dust? I just, I just want you to know. point out, the times that you've missed treasure, I'm very clearly describing something, and you yeah. guys are like, oh no, anyway, and completely ignored me. So you know <laughs> what? Don't get mad at me 
when I was being, inc I, without just t blatantly telling you, <laughs> hey guys, there's a thing here. I'm like, oh, what an interesting thing. You all went, well, fuck that. We don't give a shit. Hey, look at this rock over here. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> <This is awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> like the dust room is case in point. God, anyway. Look, we're all a bunch of children that are part, <laughs> that are on the spectrum, okay? You can't judge us <laughs> for, for what what I'm takes our, our interest. I'm rubbing my face right now, man. We just do what we do. If the I'm, shiny I'm object on. in our mind look, is a look, rock, it's Look at rock. me. Look at me. I am the one with the child leash. I have so many. I am the omni-child leash builder. <laughs> <laughs> know me and no fear. Anyway. Anyway, it's just... This pathway look like it leads down. Measure at six like, feet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other on the other side of the pit, so do we just like form a link chain with each other's bodies or what? I'm pretty sure you guys can jump it, given your strength score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we uh, went yes. over that before that you guys were capable of jumping. The hallway seems to be even if I have a strength plus one. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. feet. Oh, okay, cool. It's yeah, it's fun. because uh, Lionel and Nyx have uh, minus one. That's why we can't make the ten feet. Mm -hmm. We're weak. So small. We're small. They are small. Um. So one of these pathways might lead back to the other room. We could check it out, just to confirm. What do you think? Bertrand, as you are kind of looking to hop, Princess kind of walks up to you and kind of, like, does the horsing where she kind of bumps her face into, like, the side of your cheek. Aww. Aww. I'll kind of wipe away a, a, an errant tear. Thank you, my dear friend. Will you stay here or will you be joining us? She kind of, like, juts her head forward as if, like, after you, kind of. Yeah, I'll take a step back before running and jumping over. I'll go down this one. See if it loops. Right next to you, ah. Thaddeus. Ooh. Mule jump scare. Ah! <laughs> You're surprisingly <laughs> agile. Aw, you see her blush a bit. Are you surprised? Don't want to ruler. I like how everybody talks about Nyx going ahead, but nobody moves until Nyx goes ahead. Every time Bert follows you, he falls into some form of acid. Here's the difference, <laughs> Nyx. We are it was... all progressing at the same pace. Now you're it, not like three rooms ahead of us. It, it, it wasn't always acid. Last time it wasn't acid. Wisdom dictates that one acid trap falling into is enough. <laughs> uh... <laughs> As you continue south down the tunnel, uh, immediately to the east, you see a door, and it seems that the hallway continues and curves around to the west. Uh, should we see if it just connects? Let's see what the door. Uh, yep, let's see the door. The door first. Oh, okay. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I open the door. Okay. It's a toilet. I'm assuming you. Lionel, have three, correct. <laughs> Uh, I have dark vision. Right. Lionel usually has light. Okay. Yep. Again, I just presume unless otherwise stated, you have light out. So just keep that in Correct. mind. Correct. Yeah. That so I don't ever... have to, like, every single yeah. time. If you ever don't want that, you need to clearly state to me, like, we do not have light out. We're mm -hmm. hiding. Uh, yep. All right. You open up into a very large chamber, uh, and you see in the middle of this room is a giant granite block, eight feet long, three feet, three feet wide, and two feet tall. You see about 60 urns resting in dusty niches in the wall. Is this their mummifying room? I don't know if there's an actual name for that. But... 16 urns? 60. 6 zero. Oh, oh damn. 60 urns. What the fuck? Yeah, it probably doesn't smell great, right? That oh, it smells dusty. Like me? And stale mm. is the best way. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. So I'm only finding room. I mean, if the king was mummified, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is how the room they did it in. You don't see anything 
extra just from what it is. It's just what it is. Huh. Wait, is the uh, smell? 17. Is, the, is the smell in the mummification room similar to what was on Lionel? No, it is not anywhere similar. Okay. It's more of a stale, Different like tome, like you know, tomb kind of smell to it. Mm. The one from um, Lionel was very like clinical, I guess, like laboratory, la laboratory style. Ooh. Fresh stank is what I'll say. You. <laughs> Yeah. At least it's fresh and not stable. Is that better? I rolled a 17 perception. There's nothing else in here then. You kind of look around you and you kind of enter the room. You notice that the urns are sealed with wax, specifically. And the block that... seems to have shelves built into its sides. Um, and you see that there's, like, wrappings that are just dust and, like, fluids and, like, just completely dusty bottles that are just, like, black ichor inside. I'm gonna what? say we don't touch those bottles. Yeah, but what about the drawers? Um, They're open. They're, like, shelves. You can see everything oh. on them. But what, does it look like they were shelves? Like that you might have tools if you're working yep. on somebody on the body type of thing. Okay. That is precisely it. And with the with your perception, you get that detail. Okay. Yeah, I think There's... they just worked on bodies in here. Yeah. Why would they put up? Why would they put up a pit for this kind of room? Nah, I don't know. You know what? I stopped questioning the pits after like the second one. I just assume it's a dungeon thing. Eh, and just to make sure, opening this. Yep. There's also a hallway that moves south as well. Okay, do we want to see if the hallway on the left loops around to the other room? Or do we want to go to the right? Let's go to the, to the left one. Aha! Oh god. I'll have now a Wisp is in the lead. Oh, Wisp is in the lead. Alright. Go, Wisp. Do it. You can do it. It's okay. You're My funny shield gives me team. advantage. That is true. <laughs> Eleven. You do not see any traps? <laughs> yeah, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, your perception's not that much worse than mine, so it's actually... And I also do have the advantage from the shield now, so I, I'm not a bad backup. Yeah, for perception check, I think you're second after me now. You have six, mm -hmm. six I only have plus one. Dark vision, right? Can you measure yeah. left and right for me and south? Sure. I might need help, guys. What do you, what do you need help with? Measuring down and right. Like this. Uh, I thought you were in like character being like, I need help, guys. And I'm like, what, what do you need help with? That's a curious curb. Yeah, there's been a few walls with that type of architecture, like earlier on. Hmm. I'm going well, to assume this exciting. goes back to the coffin room. Yep. Measure six. Easiest yeah. way to check. Yeah, you even see the light of the pillars that leads into that previous room. Oh shit! Wait. Monty. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Thunderbrook. Oh yeah, that's right. Nothing the dust room. The dust room. Uh, Go back to the dust room. No one would have believed me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go back to the dust room? Fuck okay. No. He's already forgotten about that. God, that's, that's, it, that was it, the secret of the dust room all along. I don't want to enact the wrath of Monty <laughs> further by returning to the dust room. Let's move on. <laughs> Lionel measured it out. He can take that run. It's... We're going to regret not doing it if we don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm really quick. I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him go. He's just running with his, running with his little feet like... You I imagine hear, he... He's echoing this in Thunderbrook. Oh, yeah, you, 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 heard, you heard Bertrand say it in that room and you went, Oh my god, we forgot our room! And just like, <laughs> bolt off. <laughs> 
Guess what? You know what? This nothing happens. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Okay, Monty, you, you were just... suspiciously quiet for too long after I was he reading something. Broke. I was like, I was reading something. And then he, and then he runs back. <laughs> you know, the fact Bad that luck. he remembered though means that Bertrand's feeling a little bit better. Maybe, <laughs> possibly. Maybe he just doesn't want to disappoint us, and he wanted to find know, a he... good thing to make up for the mistake. I don't know. He just looks like a sad, a sad old Larry. So I don't know. I'm gonna cast make Bertrand happy soon. <laughs> just a hog. Lionel, yeah. Sixty feet down, please. Who? Wisp just flops Lionel. on his back, starts playing with a bit of yarn. Oh. Because <laughs> you ran past, so you might as well. Acts like this. cat. Oh. It would technically be like forty feet for me because of the light. I don't have a. Listen, you give Wisp a giant ball of yarn, maybe they'll have fun. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Hold on, you, you you try to cast happiness on, or something on Bertrand, and it just looks like this. One second. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, there's no tears in that image, so you know what? Maybe <laughs> that's like a bonus. It's like photoshopping a smile onto his face with the fucking image filter. Are we continuing down the left path for now? Yeah. But uh, we've already been up this way, so we could definitely try going down. Yep. What, what about the what, what about the east? There seems to be something over here. Uh, there seems to be a lot over there. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if we, if we hear that end. Fair enough. I like how after like last episode, like. Some of our treasure hunting, like, spirit has Pause died. For a second. Pause for a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's some things here. Measure 60 feet down for me, please, Nick. Okay. Bertrand. Yes? As you are following your allies, you watch as time slows next to you. Not actually, but just for cinematic sake. You watch coming out of invisibility next to you. Halister Black Cloak with a <gasps> massive great sword phases out of invisibility and is going to swing at you. Oh, what? What? what are you talking oh, about? What? What? I need what a roll initiative, please. Oh, what fuck. Oh my god, what just happened? I gotta grow a stab. What happened? Wow. How do, how do I get the hell do I get hit somebody when they're down? How do I blame this on Nyx? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this trap. You know what? This trap For once. <laughs> How the hell? Why? Why is he here? What the hell is he doing here? Got all of those initiatives. Uh, thank Jesus thank God Wisp is ready. Also, it's a wizard with a great sword. Don't forget, Wisp, you have advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a nat. Nice. I mean, nice. better Which than natural 20. Because otherwise it would have been an 8, a 7, a natural 1, a 5, and a 10. So, thank you, Wisp, for taking that shield. <laughs> We were not he ready for the surprise <laughs> round, I'm sure. You're in his dungeon! That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yep, yeah, is, is this the real one? Like, we, we talked to, like, oh a headmaster on, like, level like, 9. like, four of them. Yeah, we... Well, uh, only the, I don't think the it's one, real. The one in the school, the petrified one. The, the tree uh, one. The puppet one. The one behind the uh, the invisible room. No, no, yeah, the, the mask one. The mask room. Is yeah, the mask the one. one? Right. The tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. does, does he have his own boy band where each one has like a specific <laughs> vibe? They have different instruments each. Sorry, I've got to read something here. Okay. Their name is just Twisted Magic Missile. <laughs> well, first of all, the surprise round has to go off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One hundred percent. Second 
in here laying down. <laughs> That's a fun amount of health. What the is he doing? He's just randomly attacking us. Oh. He's <laughs> coming out of nowhere. It is technically a surprise attack, so they have advantage. Mm -hmm. House, they're coming out of nowhere with the steel chair! <laughs> yeah, basically. Ooh. I like to see the shimmer of him spawn and like swig a bridge. I'm like, what? Zan, you're my friend, right? I hope. How much damage are you doing? Ooh, That'll I dictate rolled, friendship. I rolled a natural 20. You always oh. open combat with an at 20. Every time. I'm sorry! <laughs> Where's my... Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. You need to start using roll 20 <laughs> to, to, to balance it out. Fuck no. <laughs> I didn't roll very well. 14 points of slashing damage to you. Okay. <laughs> Not the worst. What's its initiative? All right, so we have definitely have Wisp at the top with a natural and then 20. The point. enemy and then everybody else. <laughs> Lionel. Oof, guys, rough. Yep. For turns. We were surprised. Yep. And Be fair, that fits very well. So, as Halister Blackcloak comes out of his invisibility and strikes down with his greatsword against you, you are given a reeling blow. The rest of you all hear the sound of Bertrand's armor slamming up against the wall, and as you all turn and look, you see the Mad Mage himself standing with his cloak of eyes and his wild hair, and he kind of grins widely. Wisp, it is now your turn as you see this happen. Wisp is going to actually look kind of annoyed and angry and just be like, no, nope, not today, and I'm actually going to banish him, and it's going to work, and no one's going to tell me otherwise. Okay. Like, get out of here. <laughs> What type of saving throw is it? It's a wisdom or is it? This is charisma? um charisma. charisma. What's the slowest stat? It's that one. <laughs> as quickly as he comes in with a slash, he vanishes. <laughs> oh shit! No. Okay. We're not dealing with this right now. Bertrand, you okay? Also, uh, we should probably move. I'm so confused. Just... What just happened? We've got what a minute is, to get out wait, of here. What? I saw Halaster coming up. I wasn't quite quick enough to get rid of him, but oh, I don't know I what that was. The of him. Hey guys, I don't know. What yeah, let's move. Do we go? Let's keep go, going go, south. Keep, go, go south. Keep going south. Just right. not dealing with that right now. Is he fully gone? Is he going to be gone? I don't know. But he's or gone for a minute. As well. Keep that in mind. Yeah. I've never seen Wisp that upset. <gasps> You okay, Bertrand? He got a pretty hard hit on you there. Uh, Lionel and uh, I'm gonna say Lionel and Nyx. Roll a stealth check for me, please. Oh okay. shit! Ooh. The magical assistance you gave. Oh my god! I got a 14. Are you freaking kidding me? Absorbed. Nice X. <laughs> okay. Thank <laughs> you. Give me one second. I got. A, I rolled a two. Oh my god, you got a plus 12, I forgot. I have a plus 12, I rolled a 2. 14 Holy is really shit. bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wonder who also rolls bad on their self checks with a really high <laughs> modifier. Okay. You two immediately kind of run forward and immediately turn into this room, and with your light. Oh no! You see two of Whoa. those cockroach like creatures. <laughs> And you guys immediately oh, slam no. up against the wall as it kind of lights off. You you cover the light with your successful stealth checks. They <laughs> didn't seem to fully notice you. Just turn, we just turn around and look at the others. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Other way. Wait, go the run, go the other way. Okay. How long would you say it's been? Like 20 uh -oh. seconds? It's been 25 seconds, I would say. Okay, so we've got enough time to get back up if we, like, sprint. And I'm like, just saying, I don't want to be stuck between here. that fight and the Halaster yeah, fight. Yeah, that's we have fair. To fight both. <laughs> here, I'll run ahead and do the perception check. Since I was What's going on here? Back. I'll just Guys, do a we're burn, brave scan. warriors that banished, like, four or three <laughs> devil demons. <laughs> we're doing great. 
At this point, it's been 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm doing a quick check because oh I was here loops. first. This goes down in loops with them, too. Wait, and the can advantage. you confirm this? Let me uh, see. Yes, there were rooms on the other side. There were yeah. doors. Let's, uh, uh, 60 feet down. There's also, it goes he has dark vision. Also goes up and to the right. Yeah, that, that's what you see. You see the hallway curves off towards the uh, the east there. Okay, Could... we have like 30 seconds, you said? You have 40 seconds have been used up. You have 20 seconds. Uh, I think we keep going south and then we go to the right. It, it's No, it's going to... Okay. <laughs> Listen, we were over here. The if, it, if he spawns back in, he'll go that way, hopefully. Yep. Let him fight the the other thing. Let them fight. Let them fight. Right, he's gonna pop in like right in front of us because you know if he is somewhat Halster. real at Halister, he owns this floor. I need to read here, so before you all rush in, give me one. Second. Yeah, we don't yeah. go into the room yet. We're all yeah. time. Just time is paused when I'm reading, so don't freak out. Okay, I'm not. Gonna Wait a moment. Why way. enough? Why enough is he attacking us anyway? I don't Wait. think it was him. No, Wait, might I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have banished Alistair. I think that was his invitation. Wait, wait, well, one of us has to run back to the Umberhold room and uh, shout us on the book. <laughs> oh, Ty, you're right. We, de we do, we really do. We'll deal with them once we know we're not dealing with Alistair. Okay. Like, I'd be okay, like, maybe we could take it on, but, like, if, if we didn't have, like, a potentially deadly, like, Alistair weapon look-alike thing behind us attacking us too give me a second just to reveal the room yeah i have to read because there are statues in here Ooh, statues and tapestry i wonder what could possibly happen so in in 12 so you hear a voice that says back. welcome you need to do your trial of pushing this time <laughs> <laughs> not again demons Oh, don't tell me Bob did the same trick with you. At this point, you have 15 seconds remaining. Okay. Uh, yeah, with, it's like two rounds. When it goes off, let us know so that we can keep an eye behind us. Yeah, uh, any second now. Mules, mules. We should we should be really quiet now. It's about to end. Wrap around the corner. Time for traps. Perception check. I will. Perception. Okay. 17. 17. In the middle of this room, and I will make a space for it. Right there is a breakaway floor. You can tell by the difference in the stonework surrounding it as you guys, you kind of look over. Are you telling that? me that I spotted a pitfall trap? <laughs> oh? That's impossible. What? The little but... do you know, there's another one here and here, but you just don't see them. Miss, there's yeah. a pitfall trap. You were right to check for traps. It's in the middle of the room. Hide around the corners, guys. Hug, hug the walls. Uh, right. What did the statues look like again, or did we not get that yet? Uh, there are four identical statues bearing the likeness of a ten-foot-tall dwarven king of a stern visage. Hmm. But are they exactly identical, or is this like those video games where you have to find the one that's actually different? Can you spot the difference? I'm mean, assuming I'm no longer concentrating on banishment. Yeah, you feel the, the spell fade. I'm keeping a vigilant eye behind Everybody us. Everybody roll a group mm. stealth check. Oh. Mm. Can we also roll perceptions to listen for them heading this way? Sure. Maybe we can bait we... them into the Ooh, the, natural the trap. Way. I'll roll a perception that at least it's better than my own. Oh, that is a natural 20. He's 27. Five. Oh my god. Nice. I got a 6 on this stealth roll, so it's an 18. Uh, Bertrand fails to stealthily knock pots and pans together. <laughs> yeah, you're a little loud. I will roll for the mule. She rolled very well. 
all of you guys kind of pin yourself against the walls, and Nyx, you listen, and everyone else, you kind of listen as you kind of just kind of stole your breath, because you just ran down, like, two hallways instantly. You hear a... <sighs> I'll find you. I know your scent. And then silence. Lion did that looks sound? Like sound? Did, did know. that sound like any of the it's houses like... we've encountered? No, not at all. <laughs> oh. God damn it. I, Bert I is going to smell slowly, one of us. Bert is going to slowly equip his sword and peek around the corner. Okay. We can maybe make him fall into this trap. If we bait him, because he's a melee, he's got a sword. I'm gonna cast a like magic. Okay. Uh... I like how we're all ambushing now that we've lost our opportunity. Like, if we had just waited around the banishment, we might have had a better opportunity of this. Yep. Uh... I think this is fun. You detect no magic in this room. Sure. Listen, uh, Monty's dear friend Shay, that requires thinking, and right now we have beans. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tapestry the, about? The tapestry uh, is slightly torn, uh, and it's hanging from an iron rod, and it depicts, who you now can identify rather easily, I mean, you have his hand, uh, King Malaire and armored dwarves fighting a large creature that almost looks like an armored lizard of some kind in a gem-encrusted cave. Does this also look like a tapestry that's going to just fall apart when we touch it? It doesn't look like it's worth anything. It's, it's, it's... It's tapestry, it's really heavy, and it doesn't have a worth, so... Yeah, shrug yeah no worries, no worries. It's just, I usually think, like... It, when it comes to dungeoneering, people often forget that pieces of art and also being like valuable. Kind of why I ask. Can I investigate the statue? Sure. A uh, fifteen. What are you looking for specifically? Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, nothing in p particular. It's just, is it a normal statue, or are, are is there something funny about these statues? Ah, uh, it looks to be a normal statue. At least this statue looks normal. I don't know. Should I check all of them? Yeah, and I'll, I'll go from the other side to uh, like to meet Nyx in the middle. Also, He's making sure the statues don't have any magic on them. I will reveal more space too. Uh, yeah, no more demon statues. Do we want to break these statue guys? Can I? Yeah, maybe they'll be I'd devil statues. Not... Let's not break any statues just in case. Could Even if they're I, not demons or not. Can I have somebody roll me a d100, please? Sure. You got it? I got it. 63. Okay. So close to the funny number. Bertrand, you do hear... What's your passive perception, Bertrand and Thaddeus? Oh, passive perception? Um, yeah. His is, wow, nine. nine. Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Bertrand, you hear footsteps approaching. T t trying to be quiet. He's going to peek around the, around the corner. Peek around the corner. You don't see anything. And the sound stops. I believe we are being followed. What do you, what do you think? I'm gonna All right, pull out my bow and I'm gonna aim at the empty hallway. Okay. Can I use a, my um, eye for detail, my perception check, to see if I see anything approach from Click the hallway? Click eye for detail? So I can read what it uh, is. Yeah. I'm looking for a hidden creature. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um. 21. Anyway. Jesus, that one only came in. Okay. Give me one second here. With your eye for detail, and only, only Nick sees this, you can see 
just because of a little bit of the way the dust has been kicked up by you guys running through this hallway, you can see the faint outline of Hauser Black Cloak climbing on the ceiling like Spider Man right now. Upside oh my down. god. With god, the, that's Freddy a Kruger. With the great sword like, strapped to his back. Uh, I'm just going to take a shot at him. Can I do that? Go for it, yeah. From that angle? Uh, yeah. No, I'm taking a shot. 25. He will technically have cover. Uh, 21. Or no, cover is minus. Cover uh, gives him an AC bonus. And I would AC say bonus. he's probably three quarters cover right now. So, give me a second. Is that a 20? No, I don't want co cover. Cover by the AC. Thank you. I think it's minus five off of my attack then. He right? needs a so bonus to his AC and dexterity saving throws. So, his AC is bumped up significantly. Oh, his AC is bumped up. Okay, not my yeah. attack goes down. So, 21. Right. As you let loose the shot, it just narrowly misses as you avoid hitting Bertrand, because Bertrand's not aware of where he is. And as it shatters against the stone, he lets out a horrible hiss and comes out of his invisibility and drops on the ground. And again, Guys. I need everyone to roll initiative again. All right. All right. This time. At least we have more space now. Hopefully, I don't get a natural one. Hey, Bert. Please. That's better. 20. And guess yeah. what? We know about a pitfall trap, so maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. He was climbing on the ceiling, Nyx. If he's on he's on the floor now. Yeah, he dropped down <laughs> onto the floor and came out of invisibility. Give me one God. second here. The, idea of the pitfall like... trap goes like yeah, out of his energy. Spider... I mean, he just floats. Leave Spider-Man in a pit. I'm pretty sure he won't be able to escape. Yeah, well, that's, you know, the whole shooting. It might be a self-closing one. We've seen those before. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> Oh, like, the horror of being trapped in, like, one of those, like, a... Uh... With no companions pools. to help you out. No, the pools oh, that are uh, mm. close. Mm. Sorry, one second. Yeah. You know, the fact that he's using a great sword is kind of a relief, though, because honestly, we've had a lot of things that I feel like have been resistant to magic, and mm. if he's using a great sword, that's gotta mean that magic can, can, can do something against him, right? I mean, I was able to banish Maybe. him pretty easily. Get it's not a demon. <laughs> Look, I'm just hoping. Back. At least I'm hoping I can do something. You know, Bertrand and I, we need more times where we feel like we're effective. <laughs> oh, I God. trust All me. Right. Next time I got the chance, I'm going to get magic magic weapon a spell, and I'm going to help you guys. So we need it. <laughs> <laughs> Those the myth, the myth, uh, the mountain horror pick count as a magic weapon? Nope. No, I don't think it so. It does other things. Mm. It's kind of like the silver weapon. It's like it affects certain things when others. Uh, okay. When we get out of this combat, we should see if anyone knows what adamantium affects, like, is good against. Well, uh, some of us do know. I do know, like, what, like, at least for, like, right. armor and stuff, like, it just makes you immune when it gets critical effects. As he but, drops like... down from the ceiling, and, and he actually makes out some noise, he goes, There you are! Thaddeus, it is now your turn, as you hear that voice from around the corner. He's gonna move over a little bit, and he's saying, Ah, oh, yes, there you are! Fourth level, lightning bolt. Okay. All right, here we go. DC 15 of dex, or as he takes half of this. All right, give me one second here. Also, soft reminder, uh, wild magic. Yep. magic. On it. You want me to do it after the damage is dealt or before? Uh, after the damage is dealt. So, dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is going to be a 19. Uh, he succeeds, but he, he so succeeds. he takes half of 43. So he takes 21. 21, 21. Points of, 21. 21 points of light damage. As you zap him with the lightning, it doesn't seem to do that much damage to him at all. Oh, oh come oh. on! Alright, so he is immune to magic. That's good to know. That barely he's tickled. Gonna, he's gonna move back over here by Nyx. Alright, now it's your turn. Give me one second. I just need to... I, I need a better reference here for him, because it's... 
some books around. Nope, not those books. All right, that can go on my lap. This can go here. I don't need you right now in combat. That can go there. Excellent. Good. Sorry. I got like a bunch of book, like there's <laughs> books out because there's some shit going on and I can't say what oh, it is. That's right. Uh, before he moves, it procs the wild magic. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, please yeah. roll for a wild magic d20. I was All about right. to say. <laughs> Close <fine>. four. <laughs> All right, back back over here. Whoop. Uh, is there anything else I can do for a bonus uh, action? Lionel, you have uh, detect magic up, right? Yep. You st as Thaddeus runs past the breakaway floor, you see almost like mist. You know when mist escapes like a, like a drainage pipe or something? Uh-huh. Little wisps of necromancy are escaping through cracks of the stone. Oh. And seem like to here. slightly move towards where Thaddeus just ran. <sighs> oh, there's something down there. <laughs> Uh, okay. That, that ends. Is that end your turn, Thaddeus? Uh, that's basically all I can do. Yeah. Okay. That brings us to Hallister. Mm. Let's see, Hallister Black Cloak. Yeah, he's gonna move on in. Tee magic. Mm -hmm. It'll hit. Yeah, it'll hit everybody but him and Bertrand. You watch as he flexes out That's of his hand, thinks. and a moat of a streak of red screams across the ground. Okay, you're counterspelling. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> like the same counterspell. I'm gonna use fourth level counterspell. Fourth level. Okay, give me one second. All right. As he flexes out the hand to cast the spell, the spell fizzles out. <gasps> I snap my fingers at him and just go, no, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, he's gonna... <laughs> Let's see how far did he go from there. He was He'll move about right there. That ends Halister's turn. Uh, that brings us oh, around God. to Lionel. It is now your turn. Oh, buddy. Okay. Let me just double check this. How much do I move? Ah, oh, only. I will. I will just start something with something simple. I'm gonna use Ray of Frost. Okay, you got it. Here it goes. Bring 19. 19 just hits. Perfect. <laughs> Do, I keep thinking if I click the number, oh god. <laughs> you gotta Every click time. the name. Yeah. 11 points of cold damage. 11 points of cold damage. As you spray this cold damage against uh, Halister, you notice that it does not do as much damage as you're used to. He kind of shakes it off and goes... Brother Isaac. <sighs> Your pathetic spells could do nothing to me. Oh, it's about just a bit of a, a test field. <sighs> but he's uh, 10 feet uh, removed from his movement. Okay, you got it. And I'm going to move over here. That's going to be my turn. All right. That brings us to Bertrand. It is now your turn. As this guy just runs past you. Uh, carrying his sword, he's going to move uh, in front of him, like so, okay. shouting, By the pain of Ilmata, face me or be judged! And he's going to swing at him. Alright, you got it. Uh, okay, please, Bert. 22 to hit. Nice! He completely caught unawares. You just strike against his shoulder, go ahead and roll damage. 13 slashing. 13 slashing damage. You cut into him, cleaving in, and the damage seems to take hold. He lets out a pained scream as black blood sprays across the floor. 
Doing it again. Mm. 25 to hit. That hits. For 11. An additional 11. You got it. I made my math really easily. As you strike into him a second time, he kind of brings up the blade to kind of parry your third strike, and he kind of staggers backwards. Is that in right, turn, that, Bertrand? That's Bert. Bert, as you are locked in melee with this individual, this house, your black cloak, all of you here. <laughs> uh oh. And you see as these stone covers begin to rattle together and bursting out from underneath the stone panels. Give me one second here. Uh oh. I didn't expect for to come at all. Oh, oh, I know what this is. A large, I don't know what that is. armored like creature. And Lionel, you see just coming out of every orifice of its body, necromancy, as this oh, I... undead creature <laughs> crawls Zombie out Lanshark. from its tome and joins the fray. On uh, it's got ah. four juicy targets to choose from. Uh oh. How does it lets... it, right? Yeah, yeah and so. as you all look at this thing, I like to imagine for comedic timing, everyone, including Halaster, looks at the tapestry, which shows the exact same creature, but alive. <laughs> <laughs> I like everyone, including Halaster, kind of has at the same time, oh. 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 You know, I you liked know, it much better when we found Halith, the undead creature, like in a pit, rather than this guy in a pit. You know, yeah, this is a different I... zombie. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nyx. Oh, no. It sees you, and you're a juicy small morsel. It's going to go for you. I don't know what it is, but I'm uncanny dodging it. <laughs> Nick's can right. put that on the resume. It juicy is, small morsel. It opens its large, snare-like mouth and is going to attempt to bite you. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be an 18 to hit. And it hits. You take 32 points of damage as it bites down on your body and crunches in some of your ribs. And you all hear a squeaky noise sound as Nyx is caught in the mouth of this thing. You're not grappled technically, but just for flavor, it has you in its mouth and it is a like a death-like grip right now as it yeah, shoots yeah, you I'm, like a dog toy. I'm cutting that in half for sure. Go for it. For sure. Yeah, thirty something points. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, no, I'm cutting it down to sixteen. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Uh, that ends the undead creature's turn as it has been roused from its undead slumber. Uh, Halister looks and goes, "What the fuck is that?" I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old damn dungeon. You figure it out. Did I get skip, Monty? Uh, no, you're after this thing, so it's actually your turn now. Oh, um, I, I think you forgot I had advantage. I had a 14 as well. No, I have you down. Because hmm. yeah. Lionel uh, had 15 oh, oh, and you had yep, 14. Yep, yep. And okay, okay. Yeah. I was, for some reason I thought it was Nyx's turn. Because Nyx no. was involved there. I have a 12. I go yeah. last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. The creature rolled a 15, but it, it yeah. spoiler alert, doesn't have a very good dex, so it went after Lionel. Mm -hmm. Uh... And Bertrand as well, so because they both got good teams. So mm, I was just just joking. My brain's like a lot. You're good, here. but it is now your turn. As this giant mm. thing has entered the fight. Uh, clearly undead, right? Very clearly undead. Yes. Let's let's do the 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 funny cleric thing. Uh, turn undead. Uh, present my holy symbol and try and make it go away. Okay, can you click turn undead for me? Um. I have that in my character sheet. Oh my goodness. Every time I heard turn on dead, I kept thinking, undead. so you transform into an undead? Yeah, it's such a no, weird you, phrasing. You, you turn the undead 90 degrees. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a prank. Get rotated, okay, idiot. You cast go away. <laughs> <laughs> one second to be right here. How are you doing, Good chat? Master. Could you imagine if all spells were that literal? So a feather ball just created a feather that slowly falls. <laughs> oh, it's I have very to. literal. All right. There. Let's make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. So let's make a wisdom saving throw. What is the wisdom of this creature? 
There's layers to this. Uh, okay, so nothing else is just wisdom. That is a d12, right? D20. No, no, just let it roll a d12 for its d20. I'm very sorry. That is a. It rolled an 18. So. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's 18. Well, that's fine. You are this like, isn't this spell. You cast go away, and the creature's like currently has Nyx like a squeaky toy in his mouth, and it just turns, and this like piercing blue eye just stares directly at you and kind of makes you shudder. Well, all right, um, a bunch of gold coins come flying out. Uh, <laughs> spiritual <laughs> weapon all right. on Halister. You got it. Eighteen. Uh, eighteen just hits. Hey, for ten force. Nice. Gotta double check. I had to flip between stat blocks here. Give me a second. No worries. So many books. I uh, assume this is like use this creature stat block. Is that for this, this, and this? Yeah, for this, this, and this. That's exactly what is happening. All right, you bash Halister atop the head with your mace, and he staggers from the blow. Pretty much all I can do. I might take a couple of steps over here, though. Okay, you take take some steps back. As like blood is being sprayed across the wall from Nyx. How you uh, Speaking of which, Nyx, it is now your turn. You are I'm dropped on the ground. His... Yeah, you're dropped yeah, on I'm the ground. A uh, bonus action just engage. Five, 15, 20, 25. Uh, guys, I think. You guys are more equipped to handle him. Uh, Bertrand and I actually seem a little bit better to equip this guy. No, no. Don't equip that guy. Yeah, I don't know. Our attacks seem to be doing more damage. Okay. Old man for you. Uh, 16 probably doesn't hit. 16. Yeah. As you go to attack, he meets your, your blow with his great sword and kind of pushes you back with a kick. Rude. Well, no my turn. Welp, you'll make a fine meal once I'm done with you. I assure you, I'm mostly bone. <laughs> and that's not even, like, I'm not trying to be starky there. I'm li literally mostly bone. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> that is your turn, Nix. Yeah. My Nyx minus one strength. pulls out a diagram of a gnome, and it's just bones. Thaddeus. <laughs> you watch as you're like, oh god, Nix, and Nix is just gone. And then this creature slowly cranes its head towards you, and that one glowing eye just stares you dead to the grave. <laughs> you know, you would figure I'd be more scared of this than I should be, but I still am. He's going to... <laughs> he's going to run over here. Alright, you disengaging? Uh, nope. He's going to take the at attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, flip in between... Alright. Sorry. I should grab a creature oh. card for the bullet so I don't have to jump between two books. Uh, oh god. That's a t soft 20 to hit. That hits. Alright. You take... Uh oh. That's a d20. Where's the other one? Where's the d20 damage? Goddamn. Yeah, that'd Ooh. be amazing. You take 24 points of piercing damage as you flee away as it Ow! bites deep into Dios your leg Dios. and you kind of like wrench it out from its jaws with the serrated teeth kind of just cut through the leg like a saw. You manage to wriggle away mm. three and you run as like a pool of blood follows in your wake. Oh, you son of a... All right, then now I'm starting to feel a bit more brave. Tracks his knuckles, third level. Uh, let's, let me just measure this. Uh, but, uh, hold on. Uh, de 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 okay, that's absolutely gonna hurt. Hmm. No, let's just go with the. Let's just go with good old reliable third level lightning bolt on this guy. Okay. Make sure you don't hit your friend here. Yep. Don't have to. <laughs> uh, let's just angle it that way, shall we? Yeah. 
Was Dex he prepared, fatigue uh, or he takes half of this? Was he prepared turn bullet, right? You <laughs> <laughs> prepared turn bullet, right? I tried it, it didn't work. <laughs> Looking pretty good, that's a 30. Uh, plus. That is a 7 on its saving throw, so it takes the full damage here. Nice. Again, hey, like and whatever this does. Natural 20! Oh, does that mean that, is it one that it no, goes off or 20? No, it's one. Okay. It's I, one. I still firmly believe that it should either be a natural one or a natural 20, because it doesn't, it never happens. I am the mind if it should only happen one in, one in every 20 chance. Uh, but it takes the full 30 damage as you slam into the side of this thing and it buckles. Some of the stone behind it cracks and breaks, and there's a sizable dent in its armor where now, like, black, gooey, jam, like, jam textured blood is just kind of just flowing out of it. Like all right then. Ah. All right then. We'll handle this. You take care of that one. I like to think the static would cause Wisp's fur to like stand on yeah. end all over here. <laughs> it's just like, oh. All right, that Wisp, is your turn, we should Thaddeus. be fine. Help them out. But yep, that's the end of his turn. That's all he can do. All righty. Ah, yes, of course. You watch, Bertrand, as you're locked in combat with Halister. Some of his wounds begin to stitch up. Ooh. Oh. oh bastard. Ooh. Only PCs are allowed to do that. It's in the contract. <laughs> no, it's not how it works at all. It's in the contract. You can't do that. Didn't you read the fine print? Okay. Uh, yeah, he is gonna absolutely unload into you, Bertrand. Because as far as he's concerned, Nyx is useless because she hasn't hit him, so. Sorry, Nyx. Oof. Man, I'm a useless fiend. He also hit you to begin with, so he kind of wants to finish the job. Uh, oh, man. You, you don't watch take as Halister goes, Wah! and like opens up his mouth. You know, like Kermit biting the neck of that person? Imagine he has the Kermit like left to right wave before he bites. Uh, <laughs> he's, Kermit. he's gonna bite into your neck with a bite attack. Oh shit, okay. Uh, that is gonna be a 23 to hit you. Yeah, def oh, definitely oh. a hit. It doesn't feel like blunted teeth, it feels like serrated teeth that immediately sink into your neck. You take eight points of piercing damage from the bite. Okay. And he is going to swing twice with his greatsword. Okay. What? I thought you were going to have to make a saving throw for a second. Uh, Just you, the attacks? You take... Uh, it's not 16. Uh, does a 16 hit you? 16 does not hit. You kind of clutching a hand to the your side of your neck that's just been bit. You bring up your sword and, like, catch his blade. But he kind of goes in for a low sweeping strike. Uh, that is going to be a... I don't think it's going to hit. That's a 14 that misses. As he goes for another swing, you all see sparks erupt as, once again, Bertrand kind of one hand on his wound, his other hand on his longsword parries the second strike. That ends Halister's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. Yeah. Can't believe Darabont's bullying me. In my DMs. <laughs> I am gonna use a third level magic missile against double A. Okay, you got it. Two, three, four, fuck! <laughs> 18, 21, 21 points of damage. You win. As oh, you shit. barrage shit. this thing with magic missiles, some of its armor kind of begins to crack, uh, but it still looks Pretty fighting fit, um, but it does seem to have taken quite a bit of damage as it looks like it's just been peppered with bullets. Yeah, he's gonna take a little bit. It's a, it's a spongy boy. It's your turn, guys. Alrighty. Bullet. Actually, bullet. no, I'll make weakness. Here. You move. You got it. Bertrand, it is now your turn. Alright. Uh, he is going to attempt to swing again. A two-handed longsword swing. You got it. Uh, probably nope. a miss thirteen. Once again, as you now swing to strike, 
it catches your blade. Kind of reeling back from the pain of the bite uh, for the initial miss, he's going to try and bring it forward to stab. 14. Uh, 16, technically, but it still misses. Oh, As 16, As you that's thrust right. forward, unfortunately, Halister, with his weirdly nimble old man body, kind of sidesteps out of the way. That is Bert's turn. All right, you got it. That brings us to the Bullet's turn. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna roll a d6 for this. Because there's Wisp, which is a delicious cat. Bertrand, who's distracted, and then Thaddeus that it just got a nice bite out of. So I'm gonna roll a d6. One to two is Wisp. Three to four is going to be Bertrand, and five to six will be Thaddeus. Hi, Wisp. Hello. This thing it sinks into the earth. Huh. And then, almost like a dolphin, leaps out of the air. Yep. Assuming because it, I'm assuming because it dove, but I don't get it. Uh, or Bert doesn't get an attack. You do get an attack of opportunity from that. You ooh, do. Ooh, so you okay. may you may swing if you wish to use your reaction to do so. Twenty-six. That absolutely hits. Fourteen slashing. Oh my god! Yeah, that hits. One second. Let me do math here. Not bad. A sizable strike as this thing sinks into the earth, but it does burst out. I need Bertrand and Wisp to make a strength or dexterity saving throw of your choice. Hmm. 22. 22, Straight. you're fine. 15. 15, you fail. Oh. You are knocked prone. Illegal. <laughs> you will find Dash it. illegal. One yeah, second, cats always land on their feet. What the fuck? <laughs> Succeed on a certain Not all cats wear heavy armor or medium armor. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put my damage. one of my cats in medium armor in Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the videos of the cats wearing the like little suits that just fall over? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I tried putting a harness on one of my cats and they just were like, no, they just fell over. They like, just no. Give no. Up. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I gotta write some stuff down here. Give me a second. Say what? Uh, when you're prone, things have a dance against you in melee, huh? They do, yes. And you're it's fun. to get out of being prone, you have to use half your movement. Mm. Um. So to begin with, Wisp, you take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouchie. As you are thrown up in the air and you smash to the ground. And the creature bears down its claws, and you take an additional 18 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Guessing it beat my armor class. <laughs> uh, this is not a thing to beat armor class. This is you failed oh, oh. the saving throw. Uh, what was Bertrand, the second points of damage, uh, sorry? 18 points of, of slashing damage, specifically. Bertrand, yeah. you take half of that. So you take half of 15, so 7. And you take half of 18, so 9. Uh... And you are moved five feet out of the space of the boulette, so you need to choose a space away from the boulette to move your character into. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that doesn't apply to me, because I'm prone? Nope, because you just fell over. You slammed into a wall and are on the ground. That ends the boulette's turn. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's going to attack as well. Yeah, it does a 360, and then <laughs> yeah. elbow drops you. Uh, Wisp, it is now your turn. I think I'm going to stand up. Okay, you just have to move it to stand up. Five. And 15. And I'm going to cast... Uh, word of radiance. Uh, uh, okay. Five foot eruption around me. Uh, of just like radiant energy. 
Is that a saving throw? What is required for that? Yeah, I just clicked it. Uh, constitution saving throw or take 1d6. Okay. So it might but be more. In... It's more yeah, now. Yeah, it's 2d6. Yeah, because of level 5 or higher. Okay. It juiced up. Save. Give me one second. Again, I have to flip through. Oh, no, I... Oh, I... Yeah. Oh. oh, well. I'll start with the boulette because I'm currently on its page. Uh, con save? Yeah. That is a 20 on the Yeah, that boulette. one's fine. And Halister. Halister. It's probably also kind of beefy. Uh, that is going to be 18 on the con save from Yeah, Palestine. so no no damage, because this is the cantrip. Oh, you flare out radiant light, but the creature manages to kind of bulk out of the way, and Halster kind of brings up his cloak and kind of blocks the radiance, and unfortunately it does not take hold. Illegal. It is in fact not. It is in fact very legal. <laughs> I didn't read the contract. That's illegal. Uh, and then, um, the... Mace is gonna swing at Halister. Okay, you got it. And actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it, and it's gonna swing at the blat instead. Because that's the bonus Zip. action. Just zipping back and forth. Pew, pew. Sorry, comes in pieces. Eighteen. Yeah, I was gonna say it moves in two pieces. Eighteen just hits for five. Five force damage. Nice. It slams into the side of the thing, knocking it. It's almost like the sound of a large walnut being hit by, like, a baseball <laughs> bat. And it's a solid hit. Part of its armor kind of cracks. And the thing kind of hisses and growls. All I can do right now. Nyx, it is now your turn. He's probably pretty locked on to Wisp, because I was going to say, like, oh, Bertrand and I moved out of the way. Maybe he'll attack Halister. Uh, next we'll move back into flanking with Bertrand. <laughs> you got it. Go! Oh, no! Whoa. I, don't, you, I, don't I you used dare. my inspiration! I <laughs> used my inspiration! Do not stab this man in the ass. He is I am having not a very bad stabbing day. Wisp. If I am sta uh, if I'm, I'm not going to be the one responsible for stabbing Wisp, I'm not right. going to do it. <laughs> go ahead. Reroll. You're using inspiration. That hits. Ah, there we go. That absolutely hits. I could see it flash before my eyes. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna roll like max damage on Wisp or something. Okay, eight piercing and twenty-three oh sneak God. attack. Twenty-three sneak attack. You leave Bertrand alone. You stab Halister in his ass, and like the rapier goes a good like three inches in, and the Halister just Wah! like lets out this horrible scream as you pull out and there's just black blood that just sprays across the ground. Yeah, that was a solid hit. That hurt. <laughs> Good lord, you little whelp! He's like kind of clutching his buttocks a little bit. I just got stabbed in the butt. Darn it, it! You attack Bertrand first! Alright, um... Nyx, does that end your turn? Yeah. I don't need it, but I'm going to roll an insight against him just in case he moves outside of Bertrand and I. Exception? Oof. Yeah. I rolled terribly. Yeah, you, you, you pass. I don't even need you to check the stats. Okay. <laughs> I rolled bad. Okay, that's the end of my turn. With that insight check, I'll say this. Yeah, something about this ain't right. This doesn't fit very well. I feel like it's pretty obvious that something's up, yeah. but yeah, very strange. Alrighty, that ends Nyx's turn. Top of the turn order. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Alright, then, Lino. Let's, ma let's line up and take this thing down so we can go focus on the other one. Sure. Alright. <laughs> okay. He's gonna move. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to be a. Uh, 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 fine, whatever. No, no, I just. I love the way that Lionel said that. It was really funny. Well, I'm sure. trying to be a proper leader <laughs> here, but. Uh, ah, fine. I'll do it myself. He's gonna aim with his. He, he's first going to use the bonus action to recover a third level slot, and he's going to use that slot again. Lightning bolt. You got oh, it. He thinks he's the leader. <laughs> oh. Cha -cha! Uh, I actually Bow. rolled a, an 18 for the bullet, so... Oh, uh, so it'll take... Half of whatever this is going to be. Half of that. 36. And the ball magic. So... 
18 points of damage. Not bad. And bada boom. Nothing. Let me do math here real fast. You just really want it to go off, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Uh, the bullet is... It was already kind of dead to begin with, but it's looking more deader than usual. As the lightning bolt explodes across its carapace, blasting off parts of its back, uh, it's looking very, very rough. It is like a glowing, ireful eye and just black, oozing, coagulated jam blood and, like, cracked and crumpled carapace. Ha! It's on its last legs. I'll let you do the honors, Lionel. That That's the end your, of his turn. That ends your turn? All right. That's all I can do, yeah. It is now Hallister's turn. Hallister. Oh, please. It would be so funny. Uh, first of all, <laughs> once again, his wounds begin to heal. What would be so funny? Are you... What are you plotting, Bracky? Don't worry. Uh, let's see. He is not plotting. He is, in fact, scheming. He's up to do these little mischief. Uh, yeah, Lionel, once again, you see Halastar begin oh, to bit. weave his hands as he's going to uh, attempt to cast another spell. Have a uh, counter spelling. All right, fourth level again. I'll use my fifth level one. Okay. Ooh. Once again, as Halster weaves the magic and flexes out, you see a streak of red, and then it just pff, vanishes, and you hear Halster go, Fuck! Just yell out. <laughs> and uh, their spell does not go off. Oh, oh my fingers. Ah. All right, that ends Halister's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. Oh, I told you, you're not allowed. To play with flames, and I am going to use a a, uh, a third level magic missile again. On, I need to secure that damage against the bullet. On the bullet, you got it. Uh, magic missile. One, four, five. Yeah. One bada bing. Ooh, not bad. I have to Could check be something really fast. Yeah, <laughs> funny fortitude on dead creature. Probably. Okay. As you barrage the creature, its body is peppered. It's like a, it's, it's like an endless barrage of fists. It slams up against the wall and just slides to the ground and is unmoving and dead. Oh, nice. Whew. Thank you. We Good do job, back. Team Magic. Well done. Now uh, let's take care of the old man. Yes, that's going to be much more difficult. Is that your turn, Lionel? Uh, yes. All right, that brings us to one more spot. Bertrand. It is now your turn. As you see, the bullet just absolutely blasted into the wall by Lionel as it slides down to the ground. Your blade immediately meets with Halister's, and you are still locked in combat. What do you do? I'm kind of spinning the blade uh, with Halister's. He's going to try and make an opening and then swing. You got it. Nice. Sure enough, you swing and parry his blade and then drive your longsword into him. Go and roll damage. Okay. Seven, Seven slashing. Points. Seven slashing damage. You cut into his leg and he staggers. And then he's going to try to follow through with the second swing. All right. Ooh. That's a natural one. Natural uh. one. I will roll severity. Oh, fall into the pit. Okay, you just <laughs> miss. I rolled a three. Woo! Okay. You swing um, and house your sidesteps and your 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 sword goes into stone. Alright, that's Bert's turn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buckle anything else. We're good. Alrighty, that brings us around to the bullet who's dead. Wisp, it is now your turn. Hey, uh, everyone looks a little hurt, right? The the people near me. Yeah, suppose yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to use uh, my main action to bomb a piece, which lets me uh, disengage for free and move uh, 30 feet. And any ally I pass uh, gets to heal for 2d6. Okay. 
So I'm going to walk over to here so I can touch both of them and then finish my movement over here for my action. Do you want me to link that as well? You got it, yeah. I, I, I think we know it well enough. Just yeah. you have to roll the healing, I think, right? Or is it like yeah, a static healing? 2d6. All right, go ahead and roll it for uh, Nyx and Bertrand. I'm sure you don't want to give to Halister, too. He's, he looks pretty hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, time oh, out. it's I, plus two as well, it. actually. So it's nine. It's nine points of healing yeah. towards both of you. Because it's my wisdom. We'll take yeah. it. And, and then the previous person, but does he get an attack opportunity? No, nope. because uh, the ability I, doesn't allow him yeah. to get. Ah, yeah. It, this it stops attack opportunity. It's very nice. Um, and then bonus action. Uh, spiritual weapons going in. All right. Jetson's floating noise. Here comes weapon. 23 for three. Oh, for three points. I mean, it's still damage. <laughs> still hits. Little bonk on the head. Bonk on the head. Halister kind of reels, his hair kind of swing, and his eyes seeing stars. Does that end your turn, Wisp? Yep. All right, Nyx, it is now your turn. Um, I guess she's just going to do what she's good at. Uh, 16, I think we already said, doesn't hit, right? It does not hit, unfortunately. As you go to swing, Halister kind of kicks you with his boot, and you kind of stumble back. Okay, so she's going to do what she's maybe sometimes better at? Nope, nope. never mind. Wow! Oh, I don't have there God. anymore. <laughs> no, I can't stop this! No, it I is a six. Just it is just Penny a Hill. miss. As you go to strike, <gasps> your dagger gets caught in all the robes. You have to kind of yank and just tear through the robes, cutting into them. Fortunately, I just want to say... If if Wisp was still there, it, it, you would have rolled a high severity. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> <laughs> say, don't say that, because now I mean, Monty no, can just be like, oh, yeah, Bert falls into a pit of acid <laughs> you, on your you, now one. You know what would have happened. I, he would have. I would have stabbed him if he was next to me. Dude, I was hoping he was going to push into the pit. That's what I was laughing about. Like, oh, please be funny. Right, yeah, anyways, really that's my turn. Funny. Alrighty, then it's Nyx's turn, top of the turn, or Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Uh, how's Halster looking, to be honest? Um, come see, come saw. Okay. Uh, he's gonna move over a little bit over here, away from the giant, like, death pit, to mm -hmm. get a better look. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bing. What, how's he looking? Come see, come saw. Come see, come saw. Yep. <laughs> uh, I I don't know what that means. Oh, um, come see, come saw is a French thing that uh, it's French Canadian. Oh, yeah. sorry. It, it's French Canadian, yeah. so it, oh it's, shit, it's, I need to keep catching. Yeah, it means it means, so it means, it means, means so. It means so so basically. Yeah, so 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 like I'm feeling so so like it, it, it's so not great, so. not bad. Ooh, look okay, so let's hit the nail on the head. Canadian. Welcome, welcome hey, to listen. my channel where we play D and D and you learn French. Okay, so I'm so behind on my lessons. Adelante, I, no, we'll learn Espanol. I can't even legally take lessons yet. It's <laughs> an like elementary level uh, French for us it here, is. by the way. It so. really is. <laughs> also, oh my god. Also, Bracky, uh. well, salchichas. I'm good. I know my Spanish. Uh, the, of course, of course. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he's gonna he's gonna hit the hit and then nail on the head. And he's like, all right then, if my magic won't affect you, then it'll affect them. He's going to first, bonus action, uh, convert a second level spell slot into two sorcery points, and he is going to uh, twin... Again, keep in mind, I just, I want to double check, because there's a difference in conversion, right? It's... Yeah, 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 like, from what it's, I know, like... It's not, it's not one-to-one, -one. you can't convert one-to-one -one spell sorcery points into spell slots, it's only spell slots into sorcery points that is... No, 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 he's converting a spell slot into sorcery points. Oh, okay, then, yeah, 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 you're good then, sorry. Yeah, and those are one-to-one, -one. so he's going to convert two, a second level into two sorcery points, and he's going to twin haste on. Okay. Nyx and Bertrand. Nyx and Bertrand, you are hosted. Blunder. Can you post what haste does again for, for us? You're fast. Yeah. Plus two AC. Go to this and we have the extra action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have more attacks oh in armor God. class. Alrighty. Go ahead and roll two wild magic surges, yep. please. Alright. Oh yeah, I guess it technically does two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, then... twin, it's two. 
A natural okay. 20 again. A natural 20 again, but you're fine. <laughs> Peril Noodle, thank you so much for the rating of the party three. Hey, thank you. Alrighty. Peril. Does it, that end your turn, Bertrand? All right, that ends Bertrand's, not Bertrand, sorry, Thaddeus. And then you grab <laughs> I was like, whoa! Bertrand. You go so fast, you lose your turn. Thaddeus' turn is over. Uh, it is now it is. Halister's turn. Uh, Halister is, uh, oh my god. It's, you know what? How bad do the two of you look, uh, Bertrand and Nyx? Uh, I look better than my normal health, if I'm being honest, because of my temporary hit points, so. Okay. How bad does I, I Bert look... look? Who, If you had to determine between the two of you, who looks worse, do you think? I have my full health. I'm missing seven temporary hit points. If, um... If Bert was a stake, he'd still be pretty rare. Okay, then he's gonna <laughs> unload onto you. Old man bite incoming. Remember, you get posted to AC. Why is he obsessed with biting people? Uh, I think that's gonna miss, actually. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit. That will miss. Yeah, he goes into bite, and you just like grab his mouth and shove him back, and he kind of snarls, and he's gonna bring up his great sword. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit. That will just hit. Uh, with haste? Yep. AC? Oh, fuck, okay. Yeah, he's not got a shield on right now. Using the long sword two handed, right? Yep. Yeah. You take 10 points of slashing damage as it cuts okay. through your center. Second swing. Uh, no, not good at all. 14, that misses. As he swings another time, you parry the blade and sparks are up to cross. Uh, that ends Halister's turn. Lionel, it is now your turn. Yep. I need a better distance. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> you run into the tapestry. Back against the tapestry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna shoot, uh, uh, old man with Ray of Frost. Not much, but like, you know, I don't want to spell too many spell slots anymore. Uh, uh, 13. 13? Halister, like, jumps and does, like, a full split in the air. It's very impressive, but it's a little annoying, because oh. unfortunately he dodges your Ray of Frost by doing you so. Know, you know what? Not even mad. That's impressive. Good on you, old man. <laughs> he hisses at you. Wow. This kind of still actually quite impressive. Lionel puts up, like, a, a like a, a sign. This is nine. Too <laughs> <laughs> bad as you guys. You got this. <laughs> that ends your turn, Lionel. That is my turn. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention, Halister also begins to heal again. Oh, something. You know, good for him. Uh, Bertrand, it is now your turn. All right, Bertrand's going to you are swing again with the yes. With uh, first with the normal two swings. Twenty-seven that hits. To hit. For eight slashing. Eight slashing, not bad. Next swing, twenty-three oh to hit. God. Yeah, that hits. All right, twenty-five to hit. The sandwich. Twenty-five. We want to get technical. Oh, 14 Jesus. Fourteen slashing. Okay. And then last, or the haste swing. Stop twenty to hit. That hits. For eleven damage. Eleven points of damage. Not bad. As you just, just rapid speed. He can't even keep up with your movement. You just start just like railing into him and he just can barely like barely parry. You slash once and he staggers. You slash a second time and he staggers. You slash a third time and blood just spills out onto the ground. He is starting to look haggard, but it still has some fight in him. Alright, that's Bert's turn. Alrighty, Wisp, it is now your turn. Uh let's start with the uh, spiritual weapon. You got it. 23 for eight. I'm amazed this is hitting every time. It is hitting yeah. really Huge. hard, too, as it... Where were these rolls against the demons? Just bonking him on the head. As he kind of has, like, a moment to gain his breath, you just bring your mace and just sucker punch him in the stomach, and he... As he kind of crumples to the ground slightly. As your bonus and action. Main action, Sacred Flame. Okay, you got it. Spell save... It's 14? I don't know why it says 13. It should be 14. It's wisdom? Yeah. My uh, spell save DC says 14 on my character sheet. I don't know why it's coming up as 13. Hmm, weird. Uh, either way, unfortunately, I think it's going to succeed with a 15. Yeah. 
That's fine. So as you flex out your hand, they manage once again to do like a front barrel roll out of the way and dodge the sacred flame. How many times we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, we're done. All right. My turn's over. Nix, it is now your turn. All right. Well, last time I boasted about doing what I'm good at, so we'll do what I'm bad at. That hits. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just disparage yourself. That's like, hey, yeah, yeah, how <laughs> you go. Oh my god! Take this! <laughs> Holy! Nix, Nix, how do you want to kill Halister Black Cloak? Uh, I imagine that as he's been pretty much ignoring me and going after Bertrand this whole time, and she told him to leave him alone last time. Like she's just gonna cr straight up crawl on his back, like aim her rapier into like the back of his spine and just be like leave him alone and I'm just sliding it down <laughs> you drive the hand deep into it and you hear <laughs> and Bertrand you watch as Halister lands on the ground and one second You watch as its form begins to shift into what? one of those gray frog creatures that oh. ambushed Lionel oh. in the bathroom. <gasps> no, the toilet demon's back! It's a toilet demon. <laughs> Lionel's gonna oh have my goodness. Son of a bitch. That's why he was biting people. Oh no. So he was a toilet demon too. <laughs> this whole time he was a toilet demon. Maybe he was mad because he didn't have a toilet to hide in. <laughs> Good lord. That's Amazing. Right. Leo loved what just said all the main char male characters just cover their butts for a brief moment <laughs> in solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Hey Bertrand, high five. Give me a high five. He like did slowly great. Slowly raise his like bloodied hand. Boom! Cure wounds. <laughs> That's why I got Before it. healing. <laughs> That's a crisp high five. Is everyone quite all right? I'm confused. What is the giant thing on the ground? <sighs> uh, he's gonna look over to that. It doesn't matter anymore. It's oh, dead. Kind of undead I'm... creature. I'm going to assume that thing that was fighting in the tapestry. You know, when you describe armor lizard, I thought it was like a, like a lizard folk with armor. Oh no. <laughs> it was like an armored subterranean lizard. Yeah. Almost bullet kind of shaped, surprised. perhaps. Oh, Ooh, ah, bullet, a bullet bill. I'm kind of surprised this thing would have an entire room dedicated to it, I but is... I should expect it at this point. This is like a, like a land shark, like a, like a graboid. Is that not the same creature that is depicted on the tapestry? Pretty much. That makes sense. Well, why was it here? Is there anything in the pit? Uh, as you look inside the pit... Uh, it is just a bunch of bone fragments. Oof. So they kill, they kill the land shark, and then they turn into a zombie and put it here. Notably, at the bottom of the tapestry, as you kind of look a bit closer, Bertrand, it reads Golobor Bron. I, you know what? <laughs> you guys can figure this out on your own. I'm Golobron. Gol no, I like the idea that it, it lingers on that long. <laughs> there you go. You Try okay, it. Say, say that out loud. Golborn. Uh, it says Golbron. I don't know if that's a name or not. Is, I, if it's not Which a uh, dwarf, is it a dwarven word? Is a dwarven word for this particular creature. Oh. Which you would, uh, Bertrand, know is Boulette. Boulette is the name for this creature in common. So this is right. the. Right, it is dwarven for Boulette, which is uh, this creature. It kind of fights over. Hmm. Like its eye stalk just falls out of its head and slaws to the ground. Ew. Ew. I like this. Why were we attacked by this? As he kind of kicks the dead lizard 
demon thing. I noticed he got close to you guys when you got close to it, to the pit, but... But he was tracking us, I think, from earlier. He was, like, invisible on the roof before Oh, no, he I think you were talking the about the bullet. Oh. No, no, I was talking about the toilet demon. Oh. Yeah. We're all over the place. Yeah, Anyways, right what now? Uh, hard cut to us pushing the but the bullet and the the toilet demon into the pit. <laughs> into the pit. <laughs> All right, I'll do that right now. But what if the toilet this demon comes it. back now? Well, then at least we'll know where we uh, where it is. Is it the same? This one looks different. Also, it had a great sword. Yeah. Also, cool great mm. sword. What does it look like? It's like black steel. It's kind of badass looking. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Is that it's a heavy. treasure? Can we keep it? I mean, if you want to take it, you can, but it's heavy. Oh. Give it to Bertrand. Yeah, I mean... It's not gold. You can actually take this one. either use the war pick if you're going to be using your longsword two-handed, or you could use this great sword. Yeah, I look at the war pick. I think it's a one-handed weapon. No, it pick? is not. It is a two-handed martial weapon. Mm -hmm. It should be. That's why oh. we gave it to you. Yeah. My apologies. My it's super my, weird. My though. Goliath fighter Bulith used one. I'm pretty sure it's a two-handed weapon. It it, it's it's so interesting to me that the dwarf king had a shield and a two-handed weapon. He got three arms. Do we not know? Well, you can just have it on your. Maybe he's your so strong mm -hmm. he can just wield it with one hand. <laughs> he could just have it on his back. Oh, mm, yeah. I am actually incorrect. Warpick does not have a two-handed property. It has no properties oh. whatsoever. It is literally just oh. a single-handed 1d8 weapon that is it oh huh what do you know yeah it doesn't sound right so yeah there you go it is a one-handed weapon my bad oh good i was oh, also confused fucking time. it was a mall i was thinking of a mall that's um, what Bulith had they look uh, similar um, but the war pick is different yeah gotcha because it had i was like oh well it's got the hammer on one end and then the nail part and the other and it was just like wait a minute hold on well how are you how would you like a black metal greatsword, then? It kind of matches your aesthetic. The fact that it doesn't look resplendent and ridiculously expensive. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ayo <laughs> <laughs> well. could have put away his blade after cleaning the blood off of it and uh, try to fashion some form of sheath or rope for the greatsword. This right. level metal so big it didn't even resemble a sword. I it's imagine like Lionel was struggling iron. to move the sword, and then Bertrand probably just picked it up with ease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Thank you, Boo. I uh, know that's no, another person in solidarity here. <laughs> no problem. Alright. Just gonna remove some buffs here because you guys are no longer hasted. Ugh, I guess I have a haste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fall to the ground. I feel tired. Wasn't that a drawback for hasting? There yeah, is. you you lose a turn if you, if you if you get if you come out of it, you're basically stunned for a turn. You can't do anything for a turn. So it's really powerful to haste two companions, but if he loses his concentration, you lose two companions turns essentially. So. Well, so well, you guys feel better. Yes. Uh, what about those Umber Hulks? Oh, uh, boy. I might want to heal myself oh, up a little uh, bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I'm just gonna... He's gonna, like, just go to the side a little bit. Bonus action. Second level. Like, recover two more spell slots. Uh, no, not spell slots. Sorcery points. Uh, I mean, just we can case. also take, like, a short rest if you guys need it. <gasps> the nap room. <laughs> guys, we have a nap room. going all the way back there after just going to the nap room. Ah, but the nap room, though... Everybody gets 10 temporary hit points if we go to the nap room. Yeah, I'm just well, saying. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I gotta use the bathroom real bad. I'll well, say, um, you, you can't stack temporary hit points, and you'd have to choose either those temporary hit points or mine that can be healed back. I, you I would take it. yours, but I was more thinking for... Because um, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of us doesn't have your aid, right? So, mm -hmm. Or two, two of them. us, actually. Yeah, so yeah, how much was Thaddeus the aid again? and Lionel. Uh, Bertrand, myself, and Wisp have uh, wisp aid, which ten is 10, hit. 10 mm -hmm. temporary hit points, and if you guys took the nap room, it would also be 10 temporary hit points. Okay, it's and Princess would also gain 10 temporary hit points. Yeah, 
Princess would get ten temporary hit points. Yeah. It's true. It's I'm gonna go true. fill up my water real quick since I'm off these BRB. Is he the BRB That's actually a really good idea. I'm gonna go do that. Actually, I'm gonna go to... No, wait. It's not really a bathroom break, so I'll just fill up my water. I think, we're, I think we're gonna be finishing here. Are we? Yeah. I mean, we can always like just pick a direction. See if we hit an encounter. Then end and then end for the night if we hit an encounter there. Mm. <laughs> that, I mean, we we went really late last time, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have somebody three hour, three hour mark. Yeah, I mean, because we, we could always go back to the Ember Hulks if we want to, like mm. start an engagement there. Uh, we could just go down. Um, there's also this pathway up. Do we feel strong enough to deal with the two Ember Hulk? Um. We could essentially have. I think we can. I think we can take them. Yeah, I, I think so. I feel like maybe. I mean, I I think we did okay on the last one. Like it was tough, but I remember just when you actually pulled out your polymorph, like it had like what five hit points left. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's true. Do you still have the monkey? Don't remind me. Hmm. Does Does Lionel still have a uh, the spell slot open for the monkey button? Oh yeah. That's his, like, emergency health, remember? I always withhold one four-level spell for emergency escape. Uh, that's fun. I normally do, though. That's why I did. The moment I realize we are not escaping and it's just to the death, then I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay. Now, now we got to make the hard decisions. Looking for number one, baby. Okay. I can't believe I finally spotted a breakaway floor and it actually didn't matter because the thing inside <laughs> broke out. Yeah. I really, it. Want, I really wanted to summon the hand and push freaking old man in right. the house there. I was getting ready to run down and push him in. <laughs> you know what? One day, if I ever, ever bought a pitfall trap before I fall into it, it's gonna be like a momentous day. I'm just <laughs> just gonna go and say it. I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I think Thaddeus or Yeah, if anyone else Bradley needs a break, you, gone, you can but... go for sure. Good. The other Espanol you may need to know, Monty, is uh Donde esta El Baño. Merci beaucoup. Where's the bathroom? Very important. <laughs> Estoy pooping. <laughs> Estoy pooping. Estoy pooping. Estoy pooping. Estoy Monty. <laughs> oh no, Monty is the toilet demon. What was the thing that Arkolf sent you that I said that was really stupid? <laughs> Mu I said, oh, what the fuck? I said mucho something. Mucho sexy something. Uh, oh, mucho sexito. That's what I said. Yeah, mucho sexito. <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> how are you? I think it was like, I'm like, how do you say very sexy in Spanish? I don't know, mucho sexito? I don't know. <laughs> and Arkhal lost it, and he's like, you gotta send that to Bracky. I'm like, you send it to Bracky. I'm not sending shit to Bracky. Fuck Bracky. Does anybody know of, like, the war series called Band of Brothers? Two uh, brothers. I've heard of it. I had a friend who I was watching it through, and we had nicknames for, like, all the characters. And there was one character who we never figured out his name and we were trying to figure out what his name was and we couldn't we couldn't we didn't know what his name was like nobody was saying it so we finally tried to put on subtitles to see if they said the name and we just couldn't hear it and the only subtitles they had were spanish so for the <laughs> longest time we were calling this guy some random spanish word that even to this day i have no idea what it was but it was definitely not his name <laughs> and that just became his nickname. Like, I wish I remembered it so that you could tell me what I was saying because I, oh, I, I, I legitimately you. don't know. <laughs> You'll have to ask your friend next time. I'll have to, to see out. if she remembers. Like, I remember Curly Joe with a ring. Uh, there was foot. There was hand. Um, foot and hand were called that because one lost a foot and the other lost a hand. Oh, of uh, course. That's how there was work. Potato Guy because he was carrying a potato sack. Uh... Uh, oh, there's... Is everybody I, back? I... Yeah. Are we back? I we think. can go? Do we have Zan and Evie? Yeah. I never left. Oh, shit. Oh. I love I love the nickname philosophy, Shay. <laughs> very, very good. 
Your is nickname it, is it's an enemy called Alrighty. the Twin Blades. She so, has two blades. What is your plan here? As you guys stand in the middle of this hall with the bodies dropped into the, the bone chamber. Do you have a plan? That's well, well, there we go. That's the statement of the entire campaign, if I've ever heard <laughs> what, one. First of all, does this just loop around? Is it just a square right here? Should we just double check each, <laughs> each statue to see if they have anything on them? You guys Stick already analyzed the statues. I'll push okay. them over for posterity. <laughs> Unleash more demons into the world. Uh, so I guess it's up to you guys if we want to keep exploring some of the pathways down here. Um, I think we could also go back to the Umbra Hulks if we really wanted to like start an encounter with the Umbra Hulks. So I'm hearing no short rest. So I'm gonna heal myself. Or or short rest. We could short rest. I brought it up earlier. We could try. Do you want? Yeah. Do you want a short rest first? Sure. This looks pretty beat up. Okay, that's short rest. Yeah. Let's the, let's cower in this stink. corner right here. Do you the want to never went into the coward huddle? Coward huddle. Safety circle, guys. Actually, I'll be on the outside. I have more health. So Wisp, go in the corner. Go into the corner. Nobody puts Wisp in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> You guys go ahead and you take a short rest. So go ahead and mark off any hit die you intend to use. I am fine. I will use three. Can I recover with the fight spells? Uh, cover. Yeah, should be fine. Oh shit, never mind. He only needs two. Cool. I'm going to recover two three levels. I cannot even do one. Once one third level spell slot and two level one spell slots. You got it. Interesting. That is one mark. Quantity over quality. Princess eats oh. an apple. Oh. Where did you get that? She munch. <laughs> you had it's like, why don't time? you share? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that? Pulls out a switchblade. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I never read off the feed. Can, let me do that real quick. Oh yeah, from the previous night, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to, I think, like, floor mind doing three or floor two soon to go and resupply. I, I think we might have to hit a border deep because if, if my research was correct, we might need to see well, if we can get any important items for the The, the floor track. above also had fresh grass. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Earth could does not have any right. I personally would love to touch grass. Yeah, that would be probably very healthy for a lot of people. Um, but yeah. you could potentially ask Willow if you could harvest some grass, maybe. That is an option. You know, she, yeah. we could actually do that. She does like natural animals, and Princess falls under that category. <laughs> so. Princess kind of <laughs> leans her head back and blinks very cutely. The other reason yeah. to bring up Waterdeep is the shield is great for me, but uh, there's two things we could do um the uh sponsor uh said they could trade magical items for others i think a weapon would be more useful uh if they could procure that for us and we're gonna need some it, it, like i like to imagine of... i like to imagine while whispers i want to trade the shield for something else like the the, the leathery dead hand of king malaire <laughs> just does a middle finger towards you <laughs> <laughs> You but, um, we also kind of need, if we're going to cure this uh, Shadow Dragon, after reading the book, we, we need objects from its past that are important to it. And To be would... fair, oh, sorry, I was just going to say, like, there's a gate to level 3 in Willow's Tower 2. Mm. So we can go to Skullport, and from Skullport, we or Yeah, guys, go to Skullport. <laughs> we, we have, like, two it's more uses of Skullport. the human circlet. We we haven't oh, used it on Thaddeus, and we haven't used and, it on and Lionel and me. And... We won't need to use it. Thaddeus is blue as well, so there is a bit of a difference yeah. there. The I'm not Thaddeus. Didn't I'm blue. Look at me. Didn't we have I'm Bluteus. I'm a completely different person. <laughs> didn't we have a gate that went to level two? We do. Uh, yep, we do have a gate that goes to level two. I just mentioned if if Wisp really wants to go to. Water deep, then the best way to go is from skull like uh, level three, so we can go to level three and then, yeah. So, 
also are. It doesn't have to be right now. I'm just saying in the future. We should before we progress to the next floor in case the dragon is there and we're not ready. Yeah, we, we'll probably have to stock up on supplies before we hit the next floor because um, besides you Thaddeus having a full food like load, I have four rations left. Yeah, I feel like after we are done exploring this floor, we might have to do our first trip back to Waterdeep. Well, technically second. <laughs> yeah. But hey, it comes with a bath. And we can pick up more soap, like oh, we do. Oh god, yes. Goldport's a fine enough town. There's plenty of spots to cry in. Yeah, I'm sure Bertrand knows all the best cry corners. And cry boxes. A little cry alley. Cry, yeah, alleys. And... Anyways, now mm. that we're done our short rest, which way do we I mean, want to go? You're so sure okay. of fighting the, the uh, Womber Hulk, we might as well get rid of them. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That is if they're still Just there. Remember, don't go near yeah. them. And don't look at them. Unless you want to clear up where this path goes. No, yeah, up to you guys. I mean, if you throw a fireball in there, do you really need to look? Well, it's been an hour. I wouldn't know if you're still there. Okay. So, outside of game, are we thinking we want to go take on two Umbra Hulks? Or uh, am... do we want to just explore and, and hope they don't run into us? I both mm. we check this alley over here, but that's my thought. There's also one right below us, too. Mm -hmm. I thought we check the side. Uh, we check the side real quick to see what's going on over there, and we uh, mosey on down just to take care of those two. Alright, so we'll take care of these two uh, at the same time then, just these ones over here. Okay. So we'll go up first then. Okay. Well, you guys didn't Why want me to lead, so go ahead. Let... Oh, what the fuck? Uh-huh. How much weight do you have on you? Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> I was uh, hoping. 88? Okay, yeah. As you step <sighs> forward, Nyx and Wisp, you watch as Idol <laughs> falls. The moment Why that happens, I'm teleporting back up. Uh, well, it's too late. Oh. I'm sorry. There's no reaction here. You fell in. Uh, you take. The trap surprised you. A trap is, yeah, basically a surprise. Yeah, yeah learn what it's like to fall in a pit trap, Lionel. <laughs> you don't, you don't get saves. You take you just seven fall points in. of bludgeoning damage, and from the oh. spikes lining the bottom of the trap, you take an additional. Uh oh. Thirty-eight. There you go. Oof. Uh, twelve. Sorry, one second. Doing math. Uh, 16 points of now. piercing damage. <laughs> oh my. Mm. So we're taking another short rest. So, you know, if somebody else had fallen down there and taken half damage, that would have been... Uh, 3 plus 7. That only would have been 10, which would have just been my temporary hit points. It really wouldn't have done as bad to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it hurt. And you are bleeding as you've been gored slightly by spikes. <sighs> Um, are you sure you don't want me to lead? Shh. Just... <laughs> let me, let me sit on this for a second. All right. As you kind of lean your head back and you sit for a second, the door <laughs> closes and locks. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I imagine oh, Nick's is locked in. And Lionel, you are left inside a very spiky and dark pit trap. Uh, and usually the mechanism's on the inside, isn't it? Oh, this is my life. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, like, call out. He can hear us, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, Lionel, <laughs> we're gonna open it, switch places with me, and I'm gonna climb out. I'm not. I'm fine. 
just open it. Leave me here. <laughs> uh, is there any way to like? We saw where the like the fold where it like goes down. Could we like tap that area and try and get it to activate without falling in? Like you have could half attempt to pry way. it open with a strength check if you wish. I'm gonna switch with Bertrand. <laughs> but yeah, I'll hold it open and I'll I'll climb out when he switches places with me. Or I don't we'll try to with you. Don't worry. Also, just for the sake of posterity, there you go. There's the trap right there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> There's How right does there. it feel? Exactly ten, Bertrand. It is a it's a DC ten save for like strength check. You fry your fingers on her and you <laughs> snap the lid up. And Lionel, I, once again, you can see the light of your companion. <laughs> I see the light. I see Bertrand holding it open, and I'm just like, just laying there, <laughs> like a. Bert is going to take the great sword on vacation. and hold the blade part and offer the handle to uh, Lionel to hold on. <laughs> what are you we doing? We have rope. What are you doing? We just toss down a rope. Why, you what, that why are you drawing the? Did you see the rope next to me? Like, what are you doing? And I just. <laughs> and appear, appear up here. There you go. Bert will kind of blink blankly a few times. Right. And then he'll just take a step behind the rope. I was going to say, that'd be <laughs> more appropriate if you guys were laid out like that, or else Bertrand would have been in the pit trap, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Lionel. Oh, come on. <laughs> Another pit trap? <laughs> This is a ruse. You can find it on another trap. The tunnel seems to head up and seems to head eastward. Okay, so, uh, I cleared it up. Do you want to continue that way or do you want to go back this way? Let's just keep going. Up. But this okay. time, I won't take initiative. Sorry, I'm yeah, just but... checking my map yeah, for a I'm... second because we might actually be heading towards the territory that we've explored. Uh... Uh, I think mm. we're actually heading towards because there was the room that had the el illusory wall and the, like the divination magic and I was possessed in like that whole area I think yeah, probably if... getting close to like that area yeah if we can make this thing to loop there it's better to yeah. know that yeah I'm, I'm just like <laughs> um Bertrand throw me Bertrand will bring the shield out again and make a small jumping platform for next I'm gonna have a Whee! quick look for traps myself. Alright. Oh boy, how is this going to work out for us? You guys can jump, remember? Yeah, you can You, you have. You can jump 10 feet. Only uh, Leeks and Lionel cannot. Yeah. Bertrand's also trained in athletics, so he can kind of help give you a boost over if you need to. No, you should be fine. <laughs> uh, Lionel, do we have any qualms against me going first from now on? I just look at you, I point at all my wound injuries and the blood coming out of my cheek, and it's like, by all means, Nyx. <laughs> I, I just want to know if I'm going to have any more complaints, okay? <laughs> complaints? <laughs> the return of oh. sassy Nyx with a vengeance. Does Lionel uh, want a high five? I didn't fall into a spiky pit. I didn't fall into pit number six, okay? You were waiting for it. You... <sighs> If, if I wasn't having that whole, like, oh, everybody doesn't want me to go first moment, I was going to fall down that pit. There was no way that I was about to check for a trap right outside the door. <laughs> I figure I figure if Lionel was telling, like, yeah, we should go explore over here, he would have been walking in that direction. That's why I moved him there. I was like, god damn it. Okay, um, this looks like it lines up probably exactly with, um... There's one diagonal path, and then the one room up ahead will be the one that had the illusory wall, I think. Uh, Does that match? It might be. Just, let's just go in. Yeah, I, that's what I'm doing. Hey, Lionel, do you want a high five of healing? Uh, sure enough, yeah. uh, this appears to be a destroyed gallery that you are somewhat familiar with. I would appreciate it, yes. Teleport. Guys, I think we found a loop. <laughs> have three health. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know that loop feels is a here. little better. I do feel better. It's emotional, emotional healing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
We're just taking baby steps, that's all. Okay. Okay. Are we heading back to explore the other direction? Uh, this goes there, this... Yes, because now we know that we know that this is just... Well, not dead end, but it's the loop of... Oh yeah, I guess there's no dead end, because there is a path that goes down, yeah. but there were... It was mostly um the Umbra Hulk tunnels. And yeah. we mentioned we were going to explore those later anyways. Mm -hmm. More jumping ensues. I'm just going to assume that Bertrand helps me across, and I'm just going to... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now, do we set ourselves up for a fight, or do we put that off and go down first? Hmm. I personally think we should get them, uh, get this out of the way. They could come to bite us in the ass later. Oh, oh I forgot to move my token. Uh, As we leave Thaddeus behind. Oh! Yeah, let's go see if those Umber Hulk are still there. Okay. I mean, Can we just teleport there and say we group stealth check? I mean, he's over here. No, that's not yeah. what I meant. Like, over here. Give me a second here. I gotta oh, you want to come in from here? I think I was, coming I was thinking... here is better. Uh, well, I meant, like, we walk around this way, and then mm. I was wondering if we could teleport over here and just group stealth. What's... Sure. I, I would say about here, I would group stealth. About this okay. Point. Okay. Um, those things you can see, right? We should turn off our lights. Yep. Oh, I'll, Bertrand, I'll what are you doing next, all the way I'll, in the back? I'll stick with Bertrand because they can't see if the light's not on. You guys have the melee weapons, uh, melee fighters. Get on the front. Uh, yes. Yeah, half lane, uh, Lionel. Do you wanna? Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> uh, as you all turn the corner, you do in fact hear a lot of shifting and stumbling. Oh, good thing you have halfling luck. Oh, yeah. uh, hold on, let me just do a little stealth. Hopefully, I get a natural twenty again. Eh. <laughs> Why the heck did everybody back up and just like leave Nyx now? Now, now you're leaving her front. <laughs> her bridge hey, come standing I am guiding you. I'm. I got a boo boo. <laughs> like, like, like five minutes ago, I am going to step back. I want that picture of that dog, that wiki how dog getting hit with the hose, and that's like <laughs> Lionel's the dog, and the hose is like fucking falling into a pit trap. <laughs> no, but that sneaks a thing. Let's see, no. so we have a 10, a 5, a 12, 26, and 22. Bertrand's 12 is just enough. Yeah. Are you guys stealth forward? You do hear stomping and shifting movement up ahead. It seems like the upper hulks have not left. Can I have um, light readied as an action on Bert Shield as soon as combat starts? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. On your surprise round, I'll say that's something you can yeah. do. Yeah. Um, so the idea. Of... <laughs> do you feel like some of the wizards were? Caster should probably attack first, but Stop right I, mean, there. I can see. As you all stand trepidatiously prepared for the battle ahead of you, that's where we're gonna end the session for tonight. Uh, hey, that's the, the the right side's feeling a little empty. Oh there. <laughs> and we can start twenty twenty three with a fight. So I want to talk about that boulette room off stream because there's some stuff you need to know about that. Um, okay. Above the table, mm -hmm. um, but nothing we need to talk about on stream. But um, okay. fantastic session, guys! You you did it. Yeah. You you yeah. entered into the room of, of darkness, but none of you are dwarves, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to fantasia into a dwarf. Funny. Good lord! Can we find a tiara that turns into a, into a dwarf instead? <laughs> also, hello chat. Hello chat. Dwarf and tiara. Hey, look, it's the guy you fought. Oh. Hey. Well, he's on a toilet. There, he is. Sort of. there he is. Sort of. Is then Linda in the chat, chat like, damn. <laughs> yeah, you got sassy. You talk about the rogue. <laughs> of course, the rogue is the Ooh. one giving the shade. Look, I can't help it. Like, somebody else fell in a pit trap. It wasn't me. And to make it even better, it was the person that was giving me the, all the harassment. Giving you sass. Yeah. Giving you give me sass. I didn't walk, like, ten fucking rooms ahead of everyone. <laughs> I went out at corridors. Yet, and yet. And, yet. Yet. and I fell. 
And yet you 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 just you walked I, out of the room. And I fell. will not lie. When you were like bitching about falling into pit traps, you guys made your way into that room. I was like, and you're like, I, I saw the pit trap this time. I didn't fall in, and I saw that pit trap <laughs> like pit trap just slightly off to the right. I was like licking my lips, like, <laughs> I was like come on, do it. It'll be funny. God. It, God, it was really you know, funny. If I wasn't feeling sassy, there is no way I was going to perception check ch yeah. that like, little turd. Like, I would have fallen into it. <laughs> I, it would have been pit number six. I would have written it on my map. Like, oh God, it happened again. This is my life. I am cursed. <laughs> but I still haven't perception to tra trap. So that is one thing that I, I have yet to do. I have to, I have to successfully... Not fall in a pit trap by actually spotting it first. <laughs> that's gonna be the truth. Like that. That's that's the true <laughs> final boss, really. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I love how uh... low that bar is to clear. Yet. <laughs> yet. Oh my god. You, guys you think with job. a plus nine to perception? This this level is quite fun, and I'm really glad you guys have explored it so thoroughly. Yeah. But I have I have some Damn. discussions I have with you guys after the session, and I sure think thing. Uh, oh, someone's in trouble. Yeah, someone's uh, sorry, Bracky. <laughs> you're being voted off the island. It's about <laughs> word <fucking> again. Time. <laughs> you get for sassing us so hard. But uh, this really? will be my last. This, this will be my last stream before Christmas. So everybody, happy Crimbles or happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. Yeah, I hope you all have, a, have a Hanukkah, whatever. <laughs> Merry, yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, Lama Kwanzaa. Uh, Merry I Chrysler. Hope, Merry Chrysler. I hope you everybody has a good crimbles. And also, if you're driving anywhere, please drive safely. It can be treacherous in some places. Uh, take your time here. and make sure that if you are going to be drinking, get a chauffeur home, please. And regardless, yes. no matter what, if it's freezing rain, how about you don't? Don't go. Hey, be safe. Don't do it. Yeah. We learned that the hard way last year. Well, yeah, don't uh, learn the hard year. way. Yeah, and dress warmly, yes, indeed. <laughs> and plug in your vehicles. Make sure to plug in those block heaters, because a lot of vehicles are done. Zen, Zen, thank you so much for the meme. I, I love it. Here, I'll bring it up yeah, on the stream. There you go, chat. When the party is complaining about pit traps and the room they just walked into has one, <laughs> that's me. Hey, that's a picture of me. <laughs> Good session so though, guys. Funny. This was a nice little like after the, the the hectic like chaos of last session. This was a nice sort of mm -hmm. ease back into it session. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we yeah. absolutely yeah. styled on these combats compared to the last one. It's like I mean... you take the the Rockley training weights off because the the fight before was so harrowing and, and terrifying <laughs> that this one was like, oh come on. Compared to the CR ninety one, yes. <laughs> Oh, when the man. black cloak Halister like popped out of invisibility and like smacked Bertrand, I was just like, I was, I was gobsmacked. Yeah, I was all like, of you were like, happened? what? <laughs> <laughs> came, out of, came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, he does. He attacks. He waits and then he attacks somebody. And I'm like, cool, that's fun. There, there are some fun things in this module that are really fun to run as well. So. Yeah, this but, module uh, is perfect comedic timing. But I should probably send everybody on their way. Uh, let's see who we can raid. Who is oh, online nice. even? Yeah, and besides the always struggling oh, critical crit role. Critical role is struggling. Oh, uh, Caitlin is streaming. Boobs of Valrog. She's playing hey. Slime Rancher. What should our raid message oh, be? Mm. How do we blame this on Nyx? <laughs> It's Catch not my on. fault. It should be pit trap watch out with the next. Pits. Yeah, oh, watch out for yeah, pits. Yeah. yeah, we should do watch that. Out watch out for pits. pits. Boobs. Nick. Balrog. All right, our our raid message will be watch out for pits. Watch out for See pits. See everybody after the holidays and uh, take care. Happy Goodbye. holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye. Happy, Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Eat lots of turkey. If you eat that, Damn. I don't know. If you're Nog. vegetarian, eat lots of salad. Oh, I don't...